Business for over 30 years right here in Central Florida. Great pay and benefits. Sign on bonus depending on experience. Apply at MillsAir.com. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-374-2103. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-374-2103 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. When seasonal allergies and clogged sinuses make you miserable, you want fast relief. But recently, there's confusion about which cold and allergy products work and which ones don't. In fact, oral phenylephrine, a drug found in many oral decongestants in the cold and allergy aisle, is currently being evaluated by the FDA because it may be ineffective. Luckily, there's a drug-free solution called Navage that for many provides on-the-spot relief. Navage is the natural way to relieve congestion by sucking out the allergens, germs, and mucus that can make you stuffy and miserable. Nasal irrigation works, and Navage makes it quick and easy, but more than anything, it helps you breathe better. Navage uses powered suction to pull saline in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out the other nostril. Trust drug-free Navage so you can breathe better, snore less, and feel healthier. Ask for Navage at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, or find us online at navage.com. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. Morgan & Morgan is not only America's largest injury law firm, we're also the only injury law firm in the world with lawyers licensed in all 50 states. With dedicated attorneys focused on personal injury, medical malpractice, insurance disputes, car crashes, employee rights, and many others, We have a 30-year track record of getting results for clients just like you. So wherever you are, whatever you need, our firm is ready to take your call. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. I'm Rebecca. I was injured in a car accident and hired one of the big TV law firms. They sent me to an injury clinic that I felt just wanted to make money off me. I needed an attorney and doctors who cared about me. I called attorney Glenn Klausman, and he helped me get the best doctors who really helped me. I was extremely pleased with my settlement. He also got me $10,000 for vet bills for my dog that was injured in the accident, and he did that for free. Call attorney Glenn Klausman at 407-917-1718. Glenn Klausman, Office, Winter Park. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangebuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Haunted Hay Magic! Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Dollar. D-O-L-L-A-R. That's dollar. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may your efforts bear fruit. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and c It is Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Lots to get to today, from it's all over, folks, to a strange new death penalty option and the mystery lunch that killed three people. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Yo, yo, yo. 
C-Lane is out. Hello, Josh. What is popping? And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. All you have to do is send us a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch today. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Thursday? Oh, ready to party. Hey. Nah. Me, I'm uh, dying over me, here. You hung over, buddy? No, I'm not hung over. I just like you know, wrong side of the bed. Woke up late. You know how it goes. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, it's just like I'm, I'm I'm pulling it together today as we go during the show. That's exciting for me and Josh. Yes. yes. So you, if you guys could do a little extra work today, a little oh, more yeah. heavy lifting, then uh, that would make me happy. And yeah, you got <laughs> it, boss. Nah, it'd be better for all involved here, right? You know, otherwise. You want us to host? Uh, yes. All right. Oh, all right. please. Let's, let's put uh... our ears to the ground and fingers on the pulse, and let's see what's going on in this great big wide world of ours. And we go to. Woo! Nailed it. We go to. We go to sports, baby. That's right. We yeah. do go to sports, baby. Woo! We go to the world of sports where we belong, where we know all the things, and we go to the world of baseball. Where the Texas Rangers, congratulations, win the World Series. Here we go. I'm sorry, go back. (laughs) Caught your attention? (laughs) Go back to that noise. Uh, I think it was from the announcer. Wait, who who was that that made the noise? Let's let's track that one down here. I I might have been the guy. Texas Rangers! Yeah. Now, have you ever in your life been a part of a moment like that where, like, something that big happens and you're in the crowd and everybody just Ooh. explodes? Um, uh, the the, uh, the cup challenge for Orlando City. I was there oh, really? working when we won it, and it was incredible. And well, they, they call it, it like, man. instant barbarians when there's a moment like that in a snap where everybody explodes full of energy it just goes crazy. The only time I had something close to that was when the Marlins won the World Series. Yeah, baby. I was and, a lot younger, but I, I remember being at like a Miller's Ale House during it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like the same kind of place, just like a regular bar, and everybody just erupts, and you feel like there are no laws for a minute or two. <laughs> like you can get away Let's with whatever you want. On fire. <laughs> like, That's how Philadelphia operates. Just toss over a bar stool or something, you know, just let it out a little bit. Yeah, brother. And that is a that is a fun time to have. If you've ever been in one of those instant barbarian moments, let us know with a dish. Dispatch. Explain your story. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Uh, before we get to something else in the sports world, I want to talk a little bit about um, my investments, how I like to uh, take my money and invest it. And okay. I'm generally very, very good at this. You guys should uh, understand uh, that. You know, they call me the Jim Cramer of radio. Um, I'm just like the guy who hits I've the heard buttons, that. the bulls, the bears. I know about all the stocks. Was this um, without considering Safe Moon, or did you? We just well, forget I don't, about I don't know that. I don't know what you're talking about. The why, $1, why are you thousand dollars you spent on a cryptocurrency that is, I think, discontinued? No, no, it's still out there. There are some minor updates in the world of my <laughs> Safe Moon investment. There are some small things that I could make you aware of. We'll, right, right. We'll go to this to see how my Safe Moon investment is going. Same meme traders like. And that is to the moon. Well, some loved it so much, they made a cryptocurrency that was called SafeMoon. You can see it. I know that Simple. one. Buy SafeMoon and your investment safely goes to the moon. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for. Josh even invested in this. Oh, Jesus, Josh. I, I, uh, you know, I'd be an easy mark for any scammers. Um, not only did we invest in this, not only did I put $1,000 plus into SafeMoon, which was safely going to take me to the moon, but I also bought a shirt. You know, I wanted to wrap oh, the currency. Oh. Does I wanted, that go uh, towards uh, Safe Moon cryptocurrency? Uh, no, it was just, you know, just to support the cause, to get mm-hmm. more people involved. And let's just see what else is happening. The plan was that for every Safe Moon sold, 2% of the tokens were burned or deleted All right. to lower the total supply of the token. Fewer tokens, higher price, right? Yeah. Higher price. Well, as it turns out, paying 100 of anything to buy 98 of it is not such a good idea. Now, hold on, sir. (laughs) Hold on for just a moment. It makes a compelling argument. How could it be a bad thing? It's called safe 
moon, right? It's a safe investment. My thousand dollars is safe and going to the moon. You watch your mouth. As the U.S. Department of Justice alleges, the 98 wasn't even going to the moon. Instead, it was going straight into the pockets of the Safe Moon promoters. Uh oh. Oh, no. The DOJ just arrested Safe Moon's chief executive, John Caroni, and chief technology officer, Thomas Smith. But creator Kyle Nagy is still on the run. You're all great, great. This is oh, all going oh, very well. The people that started it are wanted? <laughs> no, they've arrested two of them, and the third is on the loose right now because <laughs> Safe Moon is now officially a fraud, according to the U.S. government. <laughs> Oh, my God. Christmas came early for me. That's uh, hilarious. They, they have arrested the uh, top two people, and they're looking for the third because they embezzled all of the monies oh, and bought Porsches and mansions with all of the fraud money, including my monies and Josh's monies. We tried. <laughs> we did the best we could. I want my Porsche and mansion. Yeah, well, See, I didn't like, get one. son's not going to college because of their <laughs> safe moon investment. So close, though. Tips of the news, junkie.com. Jane says, I live in Vero Jane Beach. Says. And she says, I live in Vero Beach, and today a neighbor had five unmarked police vehicles and two sheriff's vehicles at his house. Come to find out, the owner of the house, Kyle Nagy, is affiliated with Safe Moon and has stolen a ton of money from investors. Thought you might want to look My into this. Oh, God. You Our picked the worst one. Is a small, quiet place, probably perfect for somebody to hide. Nagy has been MIA for a couple of months, and he may be on the run. That's the guy who's the question mark who they have not yet arrested <laughs> in the Safe Moon scam. Uh, sorry about all of that. Oh, and buddy. there you go. I uh, would Austin, love, love to hear from all the listeners that went in on this investment. Uh, hopefully nobody listened to me. Mm. Uh, look, I don't. I am bad at investing. You know, I've, I have act actively said that on the show, all right? Uh, somebody said, where was this? Uh, uh, Austin on YouTube <laughs> says, safe to say Sean lost Invest Quest, which was a challenge we had between <laughs> us on the show. And uh, I'm still in uh, the green. Our investments. And uh, so far, mine not panning out that fantastic as uh, Safe Moon is revealed to be maybe not above board. Uh, as it turns doing. out. Let's see. I never well, sold mine. Nobody's getting arrested from the Doge world Very <laughs> as true. of yet. Yeah, that's still going. Uh, Bitcoin still going. A lot of these other ones still going. Yeah. How's it? How's it? Uh, not great. I mean, no. honestly, mm -hmm. but um, diamond you know, hands. One of yeah. these days. Uh, hold on for dear life. Let's see what else they say. Police have issued warrants for his arrest. The DOJ alleges they withdrew two hundred million dollars of the investors' money to buy real estate, two hundred million cars, dollars, military vehicles, and overseas Good trips. God. Words, real things with the unreal money. It's no surprise that Safe Moon's price looks hey. like the space shuttle. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at how much Space Moon is worth. <laughs> it's... Oh, it's... <laughs> Each safe moon is currently worth point zero 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 nine cents. Uh, you know what's so, worth just a little bit less than that is uh, the what? Zimbabwe dollars that you have hanging no, up in your studio. They look super cool, though. You know, yeah, that's, for the, sure. that's that's a collector's item. Not really a great investment. So now mm. you know what happens when you listen to me about investments. It doesn't but. work out. What's so funny is the Safe Moon subreddit, like a couple of years ago, turned on all the investors, but there would still be a couple hardcore supporters and on every thread they'd be like no nope, we're going to the moon we're going to the moon hold on for dear life h-o-d-l and they'd uh, prop this up and say we're still gonna make it it's working out and then each time they would get worse and worse and worse and now there's nobody with any hope over there <laughs> nobody with any kind of hope, no, I have hope right uh, about perhaps a class action lawsuit. Yeah, maybe we could do that. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? It's good. I want my money back. They spent all the money on their Porsches and their mansions, and uh, we were probably not going to get any of that Damn cash it. back, unfortunately for us. Oh, bless uh, the, the sad news <laughs> today, legendary basketball coach Bob Knight is dead at 83 years old. Fatality. Very, very famous coach at Indiana. Oh. Won three national titles, and he was famous for yelling a lot. If you know about Bob Knight, you know about Bobby Knight yelling at players, throwing chairs. He did all of that. Like um, passionate yelling, or oh, they're yeah. like, oh, he's kind of abusive, but it's too early in the 90s for anyone to talk about it. Uh, I'll give you a little sample. Here's a, a bit of a sample of old Bobby Knight who passed away at 83. <laughs> Production. 
Let me answer that. You know, that is an absolute crock of <laughs> You know, you and people in the news media, all of you uh, dwell on some negative piece of like that. And I don't know how Steve feels about it, but it just <laughs> And you don't have to bleep one single word of this. <laughs> that's oh, probably not. But they did. That's, that's how that man operated. And that was and 10 out of the top 10. Yeah, yeah. He just he cursed a lot. He threw a lot of chairs. He was very upset about a lot of things, but he was passionate about the game of basketball. Loved his basketball. And a lot of people in Indiana in particular loved Coach Bob Knight, and he has passed away. It says, it's with heavy hearts that we share. Coach Bob Knight died at his home in Bloomington, surrounded by his family. We're grateful for all the thoughts and prayers and appreciate the continued respect for our privacy as coach requested a private family gathering, which is being honored. He started in Division One in 1965. Damn. He started coaching. He was just 24 years old and he was a coach. My God, that's unheard of and uh, very successful. So there he goes, a legend in the sports world. Uh, another thing that I saw, I, I guess people are going to be pissed off about this, especially our friends on Real Radio 92.1 and 101.7 in West Palm Beach and on the Treasure Coast because they're right down there in the heart of all of this in West Palm. Pom, 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 pom. They said that the uh, Dolphins game isn't going to be aired what? this weekend in that market. Like, they're not going to show the game Why? on local TV I think it's one of those blackout things, which, uh, forgive me, in the world of sports, uh, I pound my chest a lot, but I, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I think... It was like that please. Spectrum thing? Well... They uh, kept getting messages about? Be easy on me, sports fans, but I believe, <laughs> I think there's something tied to, like, ticket sales, and if the game doesn't sell enough tickets, they say that they're not going to broadcast it. Because they want more people to go to the game. I Ugh. think that's how it works. I might have that back. Yeah, I might have that backwards. I don't know. Forgive me, but I think that's what's going on. And, I don't uh, we'll know how see. anyone could trust you after the Safe Moon news. <laughs> oh, man. When I saw that yesterday, it was like my, on my phone, I got an alert and it says DOJ arrests, uh, uh, is going after three in cryptocurrency scam. And I'm like, what kind of lose? Oh, uh, God. Oh, it's a safe moon. Oh, it was us. <laughs> damn it, man. They got me. Uh, we're going to hear from you today with your dispatch. Let's go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch today. All Day Yucker says the game is in Frankfurt, Germany. So it's not about the uh, oh. ticket sales in that market. Uh, well, let us know Miami what it Dolphins. Is. Cool. Uh, let us know why that is not playing on that stage because I know people are really pissed off about it. I've seen some of that online. Your dispatch is coming up next. Plus, we've got to talk about a uh, promotion they're doing at the movie theaters very soon. And I think this might be a bad idea, but maybe you like it. We'll see. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. A full frontal comedy lobotomy. The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com Crash with lane blockage. Orange Blossom Trail northbound approaching Lee Road. Stop and go traffic I-4 eastbound before 27 to after 429. Also some heavier traffic now on I-4 westbound between the beach line and before State Road 535. Checking out 192 to Melbourne in good shape. And the beach line out to the Space Coast. Also checking in clear. See traffic troubles, call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Shop Lowe's Black Friday every day. Get the lowest prices of the year on select major appliances and save $100 on every $800 you spend. Valid through 11-8. Appliance savings vary based on purchase amount. Exclusions apply. See Lowe's.com for details. Hey, if you're in law enforcement, maybe you're a firefighter or EMT, doctors, nurses, teachers, active duty military and veterans, and you happen to be looking to upgrade your driving situation, Nation's Trucks has got your back with their Hometown Heroes program. First off, with approved credit, you're making no payments for 90 days. Plus, you can finance your next truck for up to 75 months, and you're going to get a lower 48-month interest rate. So start saving money and start driving the truck that you deserve today. Check out the amazing selection of trucks at nationstrucks.com and tell them Celine from the News Junkies sent you. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, 
iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else. And we can give you access to those potential customers more cost effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeart Media can work for you. Get started today at iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Treat your taste buds to the King's Hawaiian Pork and Slaw Sandwich. Back for a limited time at Firehouse Subs. With slow-smoked pulled pork, melted pepper jack, and sweet and tangy slaw on a toasted King's Hawaiian bun. Enjoy one today with our new Tropical Cherry Limeade. A refreshing blend of sweet cherry and pineapple flavors with a squeeze of fresh lime. Only at Firehouse Subs. Beverages artificially flavored. Participating U.S. locations. Identity theft shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, more than $29 billion were stolen last year alone. That's a criminal success story and a wake-up call for everyone else. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity. LifeLock makes it easy to help protect yourself if you become a victim. A dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. Join now and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code at LifeLock.com, promo code Clay. At Simply Safe, our award-winning home security has advanced sensors, HD cameras, and now this 24/7 live guard protection. Only from Simply Safe, monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Now get 50% off any new system with Fast Protect monitoring at simplysafe.com/radio. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take Zequil. Zequil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non-habit-forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with Zequil nights. Explore our products at Zequil.com. Uses directed, keep out of reach of children. In this week's Marketers Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing. Although we're marketing at a very broad scale, it does include specific local markets, and that's the beauty of iHeart's network. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away four days in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico with hotel and airfare included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to text MUSIC to 96551. It's only for the first 50 listeners to text MUSIC to 96551. They give you up to a year and a half to travel, but you must be one of the first 50 to text MUSIC to 96551. Grab your phone and text the word MUSIC to 96551 for your chance to get four days in Puerto Rico. Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico, with hotel and airfare included for only $99. That's music to 96551. You heard right. Be one of the first 50 listeners to text music to 96551 and get four days in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico, with hotel and airfare included for only $99. But you must be one of the first 50 listeners to text music to 96551. Text the word music to 96551 for your chance to go on vacation to Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico. The iHeartRadio app and the NFL right in your pocket. The home of the NFL Podcast Network, covering all 32 NFL teams, plus all the expert advice to win your fantasy league. And, of course, live NFL games. Touchdown! Download the free iHeartRadio app today. Free never sounded so good. At Navy Federal Credit Union, we want to share special thank you messages this Veterans Day. And who better to hear them from than your friends and family? Happy Veterans Day to my husband, Timothy Golden. We are so proud of you. I'd like to shout out Brendan Barrett, who served as an infantryman in the U.S. Army. Sending a happy Veterans Day shout out to my amazing husband, Shane Dixon. And from all of us here, happy Veterans Day. Use hashtag gratitude mission to thank a veteran and honor their service. Your service inspires ours. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. In 1800, Elma Sands is murdered and her accused lover hires Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr as his defense. Through flashbacks and recreated testimony, Erased, the murder of Elma Sands, True Story podcast, explores how this case impacted the sexist roots of today's justice system. Can we make this simpler? 
I don't need anything simplified, Mr. Hamilton. Thank you. Listen to Erased, the murder of Elma Sands on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Injured? Hire America's largest injury firm, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Honey, honey, magic. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, dollar, D-O-L-L-A-R. That's dollar. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may your efforts bear fruit. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. Sabrina, you have to tell the truth here. Josh, don't lie. I'm have gonna. you ever at any point in your life, probably when you were younger would be my guess, have you ever snuck into or sneaked into a movie and watched a movie without paying for your tickets? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't remember I'm... which one. It was definitely when I was younger. But it was like after I had finished a movie. Uh huh. Same for me. It was the same thing. It was like I had a day where I didn't have much going on. And so one movie ends with like, hey, we can go into this other theater. Let's go crazy. And back then there was no assigned seats or anything like that. So you just went in there. They had no idea whether or not you made your way in and didn't buy a ticket. And I honestly, they didn't really care. I think it's one of the most common crimes that is committed. Like there's not a, a single person among us who's never committed a crime in your life. Everybody's committed some sort of crime. Whether you did it on accident or not is another thing, but like everybody's done at least something like that wrong. I think that's got to be in the top five of crimes that people committed where you don't really feel that bad about it, but you definitely weren't supposed to do it. And if you do it as an adult, it seems way worse than if you do it as a kid. Come and give me. <laughs> like if a grown ass man is like, I'm going to go to movies all day without paying for them, <laughs> that seems weird. But if you're a kid, everybody, it's a rite of passage almost. And there is a new plan at AMC. I saw this in a story today. And I said, I would never, ever do this. But maybe you guys would. And maybe you listening would as well. They said there's a new AMC theaters program. And it offers you discount tickets. It's like Sabrina's favorite movie pass. It's kind of like that. <laughs> She's yeah. a big fan of this. On opposite day, because I hate really? movie pass. And I hope uh, that they um, fall again. Because for some reason, they're allowed to do it. Yeah. I think Mo MoviePass has to be on your top five list of most hated companies for, for you, I think. Without a doubt. Just... Go to my Twitter. I uh, Every quarter, just send them something that is along the lines <laughs> of, I can't say it on the radio. Uh, they said AMC has this new program, and they're offering discounted tickets, but it comes with a twist. So the tickets to the movie are only $5, which is pretty cheap compared to regular tickets to a movie theater right now. But the twist is you go, you go into the theater, they, they sit you down, you get into your spot, and they tell you exactly when the movie's going to start like they always do, uh, which means not at all. They tell you when the uh, trailers are going to start, and those run for about 45 minutes or so. Uh, but you go sit down in your seat, and then a surprise movie plays in the movie theater. And right. I thought, hmm. why on earth would I ever do this? Why would I buy a ticket, even for $5? To go to a movie, if you spun a wheel and it landed on a movie, how do I know I'm going to want to sit there for the rest of the movie and watch this? I don't know that this is going to be a great idea, unless maybe they only do incredibly classic movies, like movies that nobody could possibly hate. Like if it was in December and the movie that they put on was Home Alone. I'm watching. Hell I'm yeah. sitting there. I'm going to tune into that. Okay, so a surprise Christmas movie makes sense. But Me. we're also in 2023 mm -hmm. where everyone, I mean, you will find someone who hates something. It could be the cutest um, group of kittens. And somebody's yep. like, they're racist. I know. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> racist kittens. Can't stand it. Uh, Christina says, Sabrina, you got to go with AMC A-list. It's not like Movie Pass. she not says. not going with nobody anymore. 
It's $25 a month, no blackout dates, three movies a week in any format, and you get discounts on stuff, she says. Uh, this right. is one you should check out. Do you watch enough movies to make it worth it to do that? I No, not anymore. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I've been to one movie since... 2019. Right, yeah. We've been going to more, so that might be a little more worth it for Courtney and I, but I would never do it for some random movie that's going to pop on the screen, and they're like, we're going to surprise you with this. It's probably going to suck. Stuart Little 2. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to want to tune into Paddington 2. As, as good as I hear no, it. No, I heard that's a banger of yeah, a movie. It's supposed to be a classic, but I'm not paying uh, five bucks to get surprised by a movie like that. We want to hear from you. You can join us on the show, and you can go to thenewsjunkie.com to record your first dispatch right now. When you think of the most canceled celebrities or people from the last, let's say, I don't know, 10 years, maybe even longer than that, just the most recent memories of celebrities who have been canceled who would you say is like the most canceled of the bunch? Uh, Who's like they uh, like you? You they got canceled away. We're like Ooh. recently. Yeah, you're Harvey not coming Weinstein. back from that. Okay, Harvey Weinstein is really. All I right. mean, we can't beat Harvey Weinstein. He's the final boss of canceling. Yeah, he's the he's not coming back from it. And like below Harvey Weinstein is like Cosby, where yeah, very canceled. Yeah, still a little slippery. But you can come back from wild stuff. I mean, for God's sake, O.J. Simpson killed a couple of people, and now he's allegedly Twitter star. You know, hello, Twitter world is O.J. Simpson's new thing. <laughs> Louis C.K. has uh, had sellout dates since yep. he's come back. Yeah, he got uh, he got canceled for a while, and then now he's doing his thing again. He sort of like just outlived whatever was going on there. It's just a long list of all these celebrities, but one of them that was early on in the cancel game. And uh, maybe a deserved cancellation in this, this instance here has reappeared in public for the first time in 17 years. Whoa. 17 years. Who was he canceled, got canceled 17 years 17 ago? years ago. You, you all know the moment when this guy got canceled. 2006. 2006. Was it the league guy? There was a video <laughs> of him. Steve No, way worse than that. Way worse than that. It was a, there was a video of him. And that's what led to him getting canceled. And now he's like trying to oh. slowly come oh, back. Oh, Mel Gibson. Nope, not Damn Mel it. Gibson. Mel Gibson has still like been <laughs> yeah. making movies. He's, he's still just able fine. to. Everybody in Hollywood says he's a terrible human being, anti Semitic, lunatic, but now, still, still goes. This person canceled 17 years ago. Did both, mm. you know, quote unquote, sides agree on the cancellation? It wasn't a lot of argument over it. Okay, <laughs> it was, all right. It was, so it was well-deserved canceling. Yeah, yeah. It was a moment where people go, oh, yeah. Gosh, I cannot. Can we get just one more hint, please? He was on stage when this Kramer. occurred. Kramer. Oh, Kramer yeah. is correct. Michael nice. Richards, who has been spotted on a rare outing with his family after 17 what? years. They haven't even seen him in the public eye in 17 yeah. years. He was just out to dinner. I guess he's been kind of laying low for all that time. And he just popped out with his family in Los Angeles. And they finally caught him in these photographs. He's rarely been seen in public since he torpedoed his career when he angrily and repeatedly dropped the N-word on stage in 2006. And he was, I don't, I can't even remember what like brought it up, but he just started like saying it. I thought. Yeah, and then yeah. He, and he started saying it and like pointing at the person and saying the N-word over and over, and you're watching and you're going, oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I feel like, I might be wrong on this, but I feel like uh, Kramer, a.k.a. Michael Richards, is one of these celebrities that get super famous, and they get famous for the world of comedy because he was on Seinfeld, made a jabillion dollars. Everybody knows Kramer. But then he tried to do stand-up. And just because you're funny as Kramer on Seinfeld does not yeah. mean that your stand-up is going to be good. You don't get uh, Jerry Seinfeld's chops via osmosis. No, it does not work like that. And I think he went up there and just kind of fell sideways and just broke down and started saying the N-word oh, over God. and over. That's and so now, the oars kind of snapped, man. I, yeah, I still don't think, even after 17 years, I still don't think he's going to end up getting a TV show or no. getting anything to bring <laughs> no. anything back for his career. Unless, of course, it's like he's, he's trying this again. He's mm-hmm. trying to turn a new leaf after all these years. Watch him in his recovery, but he's going to have several breakdowns because his life has been so hard. He's 74 years old. Wow. 74 years old, Kramer is right now. His hair still the same? 
Uh, yes, it actually is. He still looks just like that. All right, let's go to you. Let's see what's happening where you are. Lots of dispatches rolling in, and we want to hear yours. We want to hear your voice over at thenewsjunkie.com. Here is Swilly talking about movie roulettes. Hey, everybody. Happy today. Hey. So I would jump on this $5 randomized movie ticket um, only if it was a collection of, like, original sci-fi movies. You know, you're... Your Crocosaurus versus Mega Shark, God. or Snakes on a Plane, or like Dino Piranha, or all those those really stupid low budget films that, that Sci Fi put out. A while I'd be even ago. more mad about I that. I would sit in on a random one of those. Okay, have a good day. Come if on. I was in the theater, I pay my five dollars. The screen comes on, and they show Snakes on a Plane. Actually, I might watch it because I've never seen the movie. I mean, yeah, that same. one's pretty fun. Yeah, I've never seen the movie, so I might sit there and watch it. But if it was like You've got mail, or I'd be like, "Wait, what am I doing here?" There's so many other things. Like I could be watching Oppenheimer. I still haven't watched that. There's a lot of other things that I've never seen in my life that I okay. could catch up on. What if you only allotted yourself an hour and a half, and your surprise movie was Oppenheimer? Well, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. I only get a little bit of Oppenheimer I can in see, there. Like when they make the bomb, but I don't get to see it go off. <laughs> I'm gonna need the payoff on that one. Here is Insane Membrane with a dispatch. Good afternoon, junkies. Hey. I hope everybody's doing all right. You too. So the story goes like this. I was at the ESPN Wire World of Sports, and uh, I was watching the New York Giants against the New England Patriots when the Patriots were undefeated. I mean, that place was packed. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I started drinking at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the time the game was over and the Giants won on a field goal, I started screaming, everybody was jumping around, whatever. I mean, I was just, everybody was just going crazy. Mm -hmm. I turned around and I kissed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I know that that happened was because my wife has a picture of it. Not proud of it. <laughs> it was wild. Oh, See ya. I That's love the most that. Bizarre reaction to a <laughs> win I've ever seen in my life. They're like two strangers. I All just right, here we go. Kiss bud. somebody in the mouth. <laughs> Let's go for it. And his wife is right there. Uh -huh. She kisses a guy. Oh, boy. classic. Uh, there's a lot of people talking about like dollar movies and and bringing all that stuff back. And uh, Courtney and I were talking yesterday, and she goes, "I've never in my life been to a drive-in movie theater." Oh, and it's I, a good time. I said, uh, I said, I, you're not missing much. It's a big said, South Florida thing. It is. It was much bigger down there. I don't know if it's the weather or whatever, but they had a bunch of those drive-in movie theaters. My dad used to take us every now and then because it was cheaper and we would go there and it just wasn't the greatest experience. You like, cause we were kids and my dad wouldn't let us get out of the car. So we were in the back seat trying to watch like you know, trying to look around our parents in their seats and, and watch the movie and i was like why why can't we get out of the car like people are putting their tailgates down yeah they whole yeah. setup and everything the last time i went to one it was to go see magic mike mm -hmm. and um, it seems like a weird movie to have at one of those places yeah especially when it took us 30 minutes to realize that we had the wrong radio station on <laughs> it was for a completely different movie and then just abs uh, by channing tatum uh-huh yeah i mean we, we used to go to that every once in a while but we more often went to and i don't even know if it exists anymore but it was called cinema cafe and you would go to the movies and you watch a movie that just got out of the movie theaters but was not yet available at blockbuster and it was only a couple of dollars and you sat at a table and you got served dinner and you like ate your dinner while a movie played on the screen i like that it was cool and the only thing i ever worried about was if anybody ever turned the lights on in that place, I bet it was grotesque. It's like a nightclub when they turn the lights on. And you go, oh, my God. <laughs> Why am I here? Yeah, this is what this place looks like right now. Jesus. Here's Momanji, the realtor, talking about me and my investments. Hey, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Sean, you're right in the fact that you are kind of like Jim Cramer of the radio world, the investment world, because it's been a while since Jim Cramer got anything right in the <laughs> investment world. He even cried on TV about the whole Facebook thing, investment and stuff like that. So you're right. Completely right that you are like Jim Cramer in the sense that no good financial advice is coming from you. I Thanks, told you bye. about this. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. You think I know about cryptocurrency? I have no I know about the news man. I don't know about cryptocurrency. 
I don't know about uh, investing in stocks. I just do what I, they, I'm told to do. Here, here's your account. Put some money in it. All right, hopefully the money g- gets bigger than it is. That's the only thing I do. Everything I've tried that's been some miracle bet has lost in such a horrific way. Every lottery ticket, every, I just I, I need to just get away you from don't it. give up. I, well, I, I need to just stay safe. I need to do like the 401k thing and just like stay as safe as I can. Ooh. Keep putting money in that and never have any problems. Uh, what do you got going on in your world? Let us know. Send us a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. When we come back, celebrities, they're just like us until they absolutely aren't. What happened? Wait till you hear this. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Wow. No traffic today. Gonna set a record for getting to work. Don't get burned by daylight savings time. Remember to set your clocks back Sunday. Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro with a look at your Central Florida forecast. You can expect a mix of sun and clouds today. Forecast highs reaching the mid-70s. It's going to be a nice afternoon. Breezy winds out of the northeast at 15 to 20 plus miles per hour. As we head into the overnight hours tonight, you can expect those lows to dip into the low 60s with warming temperatures as we head into the weekend. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro. This report is sponsored by InvisibleFence.com. Feel confident in your pet's safety while experiencing the convenience of Invisible Fence brand. Customized for you and your pet's needs. Patented fence technology is paired with hands-on training from certified pet trainers who give your pet the safest freedom possible. Learn more by visiting InvisibleFence.com. Listen up, my friends. Let me tell you about That Mortgage Guy Don. ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. And, of course, he's the host of the Home Loans Radio Show. Now, if you didn't know that he was on Real Radio every Saturday morning, well, boom, you can listen to him and his crew answering your questions live on the air. And if you're busy on Saturday mornings, that's perfectly fine because you can listen to all the informative episodes, over 180 to be exact, right there on that mortgageguidedon.com or, of course, wherever you download podcasts. Just search the Home Loans Radio Show and uh, it has that mortgage guy, Don. That mortgage guy, Don, is pulling back the curtain on the mortgage business. He's explaining the real mortgage process to you because he wants you to know how it works. He has your best interest in mind. He's going to treat you like an actual human and not like a number like all the other mortgage companies would. Now, chances are very good that you're leaving money on the table. So why don't you let that mortgage guy, Don, help you get the money off the table and back in your hands where it belongs. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com to get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you can trust. That's thatmortgageguydon.com. Texting privacy policy in terms of conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, stop, stop. Binges, blackouts, regret, shame, trying and failing to drink less or quit. Hi, I'm Jonathan, founder of Or Health. I know how scary drinking too much can be because I struggled with alcohol misuse for most of my adult life. But I also know that it is possible to drink less or quit. And medication can help. Now, Trexone is a safe, effective medication that makes it easier to cut back or quit drinking so you don't have to rely on willpower alone. I started Or Health to make access to Naltrexone convenient and private to help people like me regain control over alcohol. If you're ready to stop drinking or just drink less, text FINALLY to 3232. To get a secure link to Or Health's private online assessment, our licensed medical professionals will evaluate your assessment, and if medication is right for you, prescribe it online. We'll deliver your prescription right to your door. No doctor's office visits required. Tax the word finally to 323232 to get started today. That's finally to 323232. This is Scott Trout of Cordell and Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we have represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Set up a consultation and take the first step. Office in Orlando. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's attorneys. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia only. Online at CordellCordell.com. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take z 
z the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non-habit-forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with z Nights. Explore our products at z Uses directed. Keep out of reach of children. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-374-2103. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-374-2103 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. Once you get your hot stuff freshly grilled right in front of you at Jersey Mike's, I'll tell you, there's no going back to anything else. That'd be like going back to calling your friend on their home phone. Hello, McDougal residence. Hi, can Jerry come to Jersey Mike's? Jerry! May I ask who's calling? It's Danny. It's Donnie. Pick up the phone. Yoo-hoo! You know what? I'll call him when the cell phone gets invented. Nope. There's no going back once you get it freshly grilled. Jersey Mike's. A sub above. Jesse Kelly here. Do you feel protected? My personal protection plan is owning gold. The Oxford Gold Group helps you buy gold to have on hand or convert it into your 401k. If things get weird, I have gold on hand. I like that. You can buy coins or convert part of your 401k with the Oxford Gold Group. It's easy and safe. 833-995-GOLD. That's 833-995-GOLD. 833-995-G-O-L-D. Temperature is getting low, but demand remaining high? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. This year full of Real Radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. On the bright side, we're not dead yet. You're listening. Now, I know this is going to sound like oh, this is a small news story. Why are you talking about this? Why is this a big deal? But in Missouri, they just appointed somebody to the Missouri Supreme Court. And it was the Missouri governor, Mike Parson, who appointed this person to the Supreme Court. And Missouri's Supreme Court is actually a female majority Supreme Court. I thought you were about to say magician. I'm like, that's exciting. You never see those. I don't know what they're thinking over there, but they're a female majority Supreme Court regardless. And they've announced that they were nominating yet another woman to the Supreme Court. So congratulations to her. She is now on the Supreme Court. There you go. They, they picked her out. She is now the honorable, I'm looking here at a photo of her, the honorable Ginger Gooch is now appointed to the Missouri Supreme Court. And I wish her the best. That's a that's a rough name, isn't it? That's, <laughs> Ginger Gooch. I'd be getting married to change my last name immediately. As fast as you can. What you other get choice do you have? Like, it's either become a very high authority in the country uh-huh. or a stripper. <laughs> yeah, Ginger Gooch. A gooch is, well. Uh, it's a taint. Yeah, yeah, that area, right? And then a ginger one at that. Wow, that's very particular. Honorable Ginger Gooch has been appointed to a Missouri Supreme Court judge. Congratulations to her. That's, that's a rough the name to go up with. The Honorable Gooch. Can you imagine that? Like you're in court and uh, the, the judge is like passing judgment on you. You're like, the Honorable Ginger Gooch sentences you to death. <laughs> like, oh, judge what? Gooch, if I may approach the bench. <laughs> uh, that's her name. And I like... 
when somebody has a name like that, I look at them and I go, you're tough. Like I, I honestly look at her and I go, you're tough. You've been through the swamps. A boy named Sue situation. Uh huh. Yeah. I know that you have thick skin and that you've heard it all. And there's something that that brings to your life where even if she was beautiful, even if she had everything going for her, you're still going to get crap for your name being that way. There's so many people that have to live life like that. Uh, thankful that my name is just sort of generic and they couldn't do too much with my name, even to make fun of me. We honest to God, when, when Dylan was about to be born, his mom was the one who was like, let's name him Dylan. I forgot where she pulled that from. Might be from 90210. I don't even know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. But she came up with Dylan. We're going to call him Dylan. And uh, I sat there. And we, actually, we sat there together. And we're like, what could they call him? What could they say about him? What are the rhymes they could use to make fun of him? Chilling Dylan. <laughs> like, all right, that's okay. It's not bad. Uh, then you, if you get, no, like, nothing's too bad, you're like, okay, we're in the clear here. We don't have to worry about this. But Ginger Gooch, right off the bat. <laughs> Terrible. I mean, her, her last name was Gooch, and they still saddled her with the ginger part, for God's sake. Uh, she does not have red hair, just for the record, but she but is. What uh, color is the Gooch? Uh, we, we don't know. Uh, undetermined, and we'll have to figure that out uh, in the long run. But <laughs> congratulations to her. Uh, celebrities, they are just like us, except for when they're not. And uh, a video of one of the most famous kids, I think, in the United States of America. Kim Kardashian's daughter, Northwest, has been making the rounds. And it's not just because she's growing up and people are taking a look at her uh, and they're going, what's she going to do? Dad is Kanye West. Mother is Kim Kardashian. Two billionaires. My God, what do they got going on? Is she going to be a singer? Is she going to be a, a TV show star? What is she going to do? It's kind of a well, rap. Uh, I think she might be. And also, in this video, she is just as nonchalantly as is humanly possible. She's chewing down on some food. All right? Chewing down on, on some food. And if you see what's in front of me, if you're on YouTube or Twitch, you can see what she is eating here. Nonchalantly, <laughs> she is eating a raw, what's wrong with this girl? unpeeled onion like it's an apple. That's, like she's, I, that's I don't know a how. Nepo, like, that is a poster child for Nepo baby. It's like, <laughs> I can do whatever I want that I'm going to eat an onion like an apple. You know who else does that? Shrek. Oh, she's <laughs> eating an onion raw, just eating into an onion like it's an <laughs> apple. And your breath must be horrid after that. That can't possibly be good. And Isn't I can't even... Like, Im immune system or something? I hope I so. so. I hope it's good for something because looking at somebody just doing that, just taking a raw onion in your hand and just eating it like it's an apple and not being phased by that. <laughs> Serial killer vibes. This is just, I'm worried about this. It's very, very strange to me. But it's one of her uh, favorite snacks, I guess, to <laughs> just... Uh, she didn't even peel it first. No, it's still got the peel on the outside, and she just bites right into the side of that thing. That's what celebrity kids do, folks. You probably didn't grow up that way. Uh, we got I your know. dispatches. I ate some weird stuff. Like up. what? What What did you eat that was weird? I just remember I had, like, a small phase uh, oh. in which I could... I loved butter. Yeah, you just ate mm, butter, just, butter. Like just I raw? Could, I could probably get a spoonful of butter. Not now. Oh, I, please, Not I could now, do that, too. I, yeah. you, you could, uh, butter's delicious. <laughs> just scoop it up, too. I just feel like You're a monster. You're not supposed to eat it by the spoonful. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's, that's where they're in the problem lies. You're not supposed to do Cream it that Cream cheese in the middle of a way. piece of ham? Uh, I would do that, too. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound good. that bad. The weird one that I had when I got drunk that I did over and over and over again was I would pour a bunch of cottage cheese into a bowl and then get nacho Doritos and line it like they were like it was a nacho dip, you know, put the oh, Doritos okay. all around the outside. And I would dunk the nacho Doritos into the cottage cheese. And I was so drunk and I would eat the hell out of that. Don't know why. Never did it again afterwards. Cottage cheese sounds like the worst drunk food. Cottage cheese. If you grew up eating it, you love it. You like you're used to it, whatever. Can't. If you never had it while you were a kid and then somebody presents cottage yeah. cheese to you, you go, what in the heck? It's weirder than the it's raw gross. onion. It's, it's not good. You don't want to try that. Before we get into those dispatches, there's a man in Las Vegas who swears he's a good driver. We'll see if that's true. This is from KLAS. They say, despite police ticketing him 19 times for driving without a license, registration, or insurance, a Las Vegas man described himself as a good driver 
and apologized for killing a bicyclist. Oh. I, is he yeah. even allowed to describe himself at this point? I would think that you would know you were pretty bad, but Julius Hopkins, 32, faced charges of reckless driving resulting in death, child abuse or endangerment, having no driver's license, registration, or insurance for this crash that killed somebody on a bicycle. They said it was uh, not his car. It was not the right plate on the car. He didn't have license. He didn't have registration. He didn't have insurance. He had nothing. And uh, now he finds himself in a world of tr- uh, trouble. But when they asked him in the courtroom, do you think you're a good driver? And he said, yes, I do think that I am a good driver. I don't know about that. Yeah. The evidence is stacked up against you, sir. Uh, we're going to work in one or two dispatches very quickly. Here is Guitar Slinger talking about this Beatles song. You guys hear about the Beatles song that they just premiered on iHeart? Um, yeah. I haven't heard it yet, but I heard it was happening. So I guess they took old vocals from John Lennon and some music, and then they used AI and some other things to make it a high-quality recording. And then they had the other members of the Beatles that are alive, record some stuff or took other things that they recorded they added some new strings to it and then they're calling it like a country song really i haven't heard it yet either i only heard how they should be in this yeah i got it yeah because they premiered it yesterday i believe on iheart stations let's Let's see imagine see if it's any good one two one two George Harrison. George Harrison, they took some recordings that he made and then used AI to create some things. So he also was involved in it. It was pretty impressive that they were able to do that, actually. Uh, but Guitar Slinger's talking about that song. Well, I heard the new Beatles song today. And as someone who enjoys the Beatles, but not a rabid fan, I have one word for that new song. Boring. Oh, him too. Yeah. <laughs> it's slow. It's pedantic. <laughs> And it's nothing to jump up and down about. Yeah. Just my opinion. Not very exciting. I'm with you on that. When we come back, a woman served lunch and three people died. Oh. What went wrong? Well, you're going to find out. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win $1,000 and a little. Holiday magic. It's just minutes away. And brought to you by Mills Air. We have a crash in Kissimmee now. Old Lake Wilson Road northbound at US 192. The center lane blocked. FHP on the scene there. Crash with some possible road blockage as well in Orange County. Keene Road. This is east and westbound at Marden Road. And Goldenrod south of Curry Ford Road at Govern Boulevard. See traffic troubles? Call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa has pizza. Wawa has pizza. It's freshly made, tastes great, and you can get it late. Right now, there's a $0 delivery fee when you order Wawa pizza at Wawa.com or on the Wawa app. Gotta have a Wawa. You shouldn't need a degree in finance to choose a checking account. That's why we made Truest One Checking. No trade-offs, no compromise, no hassle. Just the stuff you want from a bank that cares. And that means no overdraft fees, lots of practical perks, and automatic upgrades. Truest One Checking. One simple choice. Visit truest.com slash one. Truest.com slash O-N-E. Truest Bank, member FDIC. At Target, your favorites are our favorites. And when you can save on your favorites too, uh, yes please. This week only, get 20% off select breakfast essentials. That's 20% off all bagged and K-cup coffee. Talk about essential. From brands like Good & Gather, Starbucks, and more. 20% off all cereal, like Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms, the list goes on. And 20% off Tropicana and Simply Orange Juice too. But these deals end Saturday, so it's time for a Target run. Restrictions apply. We're all looking for the recipe for success. Maybe what you really need is the recipe for fresh. 
Luckily, that's easy to get. Just go to FreshFromFlorida.com. There you'll find all kinds of recipes that use in-season and locally grown Florida produce. Visit FreshFromFlorida.com to learn more. Why choose a Sleep Number smart bed? Because only the Sleep Number Climate 360 smart bed lets you each sleep up to 13 degrees cooler or warmer on either side. While you both sleep at your ideal level of firmness, comfort, and support, your Sleep Number setting. And now our all-new next-gen smart beds have temperature benefits. So you sleep better night after night. And now the new Queen Sleep Number C2 smart bed is only $8.99. Ends Monday. To learn more, visit one of our 11 Orlando Sleep Number stores or visit sleepnumber.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Why should you hire the largest injury firm in the world for your injury case? Lots of people hired us. We've collected over $15 billion and won a lot. Morgan & Morgan, For the People. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Thousands of stores across the country are pulling brand name cold and allergy products off the shelves. Why? Because an FDA advisory panel recently determined that a drug they contain, oral phenylephrine, is ineffective as a nasal decongestant. Navage offers a drug-free solution that's fast and highly effective at relieving nasal congestion caused by colds and allergies. Navage uses suction to pull saline in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out of the other nostril to help suck out allergens, mucus, and germs. Nasal irrigation works, and Navage makes it quick and easy, but more than anything, it helps you breathe better. Don't waste your time or money on products that are ineffective. Trust drug-free Navage for fast relief to help you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Ask for Navage at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, or find us online at Navage.com. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. This is Scott Trout of Cordell & Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we have represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Set up a consultation and take the first step. Office in Orlando. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell & Cordell's attorneys. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia only. Online at Cordell. Cordell.com. At Simply Safe, our award-winning home security has advanced sensors, HD cameras, and now this 24-7 live guard protection. Only from Simply Safe. Monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Now get 50% off any new system with Fast Protect Monitoring at simplysafe.com slash radio. Advanced home security, 24-7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Live November 4th at the Mount Dora Music Hall. Upfront Entertainment presents Kiss Alive, the tribute. tribute. Performing cover to cover the iconic 1975 Kiss Alive album in its entirety. Along with several classic cuts, special guest Kaminar, a high energy progressive rock band. Reserve seating starts at just $25. Doors at 6 p.m. Tickets and info at MountDoraMusicHall.com. Saturday, November 4th, one night, two bands. Go to MountDoraMusicHall.com. The Chase Inc. Business Premier Card is made for people who make things happen, like me. I'm Sam, founder and CEO of Manifest, a product design company that makes everyday products design smarter. I get 2.5% cash back on purchases of $5,000 or more, plus unlimited 2% cash back on all other purchases, which helps us make more smart ideas into a brilliant reality. The Inc. Business Premier Card. Learn more at chase.com forward slash business premier. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Real business owner compensated for their participation. Account subject to credit approval. Restrictions on limitations apply. Cards are issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. Any member of FDIC. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Haunted Hay Magic! Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Credit. C-R-E-D-I-T. That's credit. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Hear it here first. Then everyone else will catch up in a week or two or four. You're listening.
Everybody, and I want you to honestly think about this for a second. And Sabrina and Josh, I want to see where you're at. I can't even guess right now where the two of you will land on this question. Oh but boy. I think it's honestly one that you'll have to face at some point in your lifetime, considering how things are going and how fast technology is uh, rolling along. And the question is this. Would you ever get a chip planted in your body? Would you ever get a chip like implanted uh, into you no. to to fix something? What kind of chip? Uh, that Doritos. Is, no, like like a chip that's going to solve an issue that you have. All right, like uh. there's a lot of technology now that's moving along, and and Neuralink is one of the companies, but there's many other ones. And I'll give you an actual news story where this just happened and it worked for somebody. But let's say you have some issue. You're depressed, right? You have depression. And they go, we've got Stop targeting. <laughs> we've got this implant and we can put it in your brain. It's a simple surgery. Put the chip in your brain and then it solves your depression and you are no longer depressed. Would you do that or do you feel like you're uncomfortable with that? Yeah, I'm going to off the bat say I'm uncomfortable with it. Yeah. Now ask me again in 20 years after all the trials and it's mm -hmm. a little bit more mainstream. I could maybe see myself. A little bit more open to the idea. I should have actually put that out there. In this fictitious world, we're going to fantasy land, all right? I, okay. I forgot to take you along with me to fantasy land, but we are. We are indeed going to fantasy land. All the imagination is out there. And uh, in this fantasy land, it's already been tried on a bunch of other people. You see that it works, you see that it could be effective, and they've had it for long enough that you're confident in it. And now, would you get a chip implanted in your brain or in your body somewhere if it fixed an issue that you had? With that in mind, with all that in the clear. Gosh, I, I want to say yes, sure. Why are you weirded out? What, what's the thing that I weirds feel you like, out? You know, it, there's something, um, there's a catch to it. Uh -huh. Where it's like, yeah, it's going to help fix my depression, but also but, this data is going to be sold to a third party and I'm going to be tracked for the rest of my life. And Right. So you, know. you, you don't oppose it on this grounds. And there, I think a lot of people would actually oppose it on this grounds. Some people say that all of the things that I have, whether you have um, issues mentally or you got like ADHD or you got all these other things. Some people say those things actually make me me. They make me the person that I am. And if I didn't have those things, I wouldn't be me. And so they, they don't like it. They, they don't see it as something that needs to be fixed. It's like in the deaf community, there's people who are against cochlear implants and doing anything to fix your hearing. In the blind community, there's people who don't want you to get your vision fixed. That's who you are, and that's what you do. So you guys aren't opposing it on those grounds. You're more so. Are you against it, Josh, or would you do it? I just don't like the idea of a company putting technology inside my body. It's unsettling. I know that it is. but I do love cyborg technology. I, I think if everybody, like everybody would have a breaking point where they would go, yes, absolutely, I would do that. Like if somebody said, we're going to put this chip in you, Sean, and you know your family has a history of cancer, and this chip, it will zap any cancer it sees. And it, you will not die of cancer. Well you worth it. Yeah, then I'll go, I'll put the chip in me. I think everybody has a point where if you get to that level, you go, yep, I'd take it. Koalak said on Twitch, I'll take that chip for anxiety if it's been tested. I can't imagine how much more productive I would be. I bet a lot of people, especially in the anxiety world, would be like, yep, I will take that. I would do that. But there are going to be some people who are just sure. hesitant forever. Like, even with the vaccine and stuff, there's people like, they're putting chips in our bodies. It's like, there's an underlying fear. It's just that word. Of it's that. Chip. Chip, yeah. There have been a lot of advancements as far as, like, technology and medicine um, where computers are involved. Like, I had uh, someone close to me, their, their father, terrible back issues. Like, mm -hmm. it, it got to the point where it was 20 pills a day. Jesus. Half of them, you know, made him like not feel like himself and lethargic. And then it was called, uh, I think it's called Biospine. All right. This whole trial. And uh, eventually, once he was approved of it, he got uh, essentially like this computer system installed into his back where they wired his spine and he has a separate remote control. And then he touches it to his back. The battery charges. Eventually, I think in like 15 years, they have to replace it. Really? And he doesn't have to take any more medication. 
Like, it is just solely based on his little computer device that's helping him live a normal life. I mean, that's, that's very wild. much like what we're talking about, yeah. though. That is, like, dead on. Like, you're getting technology implanted into your body, and the technology in your body is making your life better. And that's huge. And you know why that's really, really huge? Because back in spine issues, you can get spinal surgery. You can get all these different things done. They don't really do anything. Most of the time, it makes things worse for people. Yeah. They go under surgery, and, and it's not the helping hand that they think they're going to get. But that... Now, a biospine sounds like a, an option. That's a cool thing. And imagine where that will be in 10 or 20 years. I say all this because there's a woman right now named Amber Pearson, and she has OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, and she has it really, really bad. She said she spent about eight hours a day acting out her obsessive thoughts. She washed her hands until they bled. She repeatedly checked the locks on her doors, and she ate separately from her family due to intense fear of food contamination. So needless to say, bad impact. That's debilitating. Not, yeah, it's very debilitating. And she's 34 years old. She has obsessive compulsive disorder. Neither, neither therapy nor medication could remedy her. So she, uh, she also had severe epilepsy, which would cause her to go unconscious sometimes. Four years ago, a doctor comes to her and says, I can help you out. She has an implant put into her brain as part of her epilepsy treatment. And she miraculously found it helped her to hinder her compulsive thoughts. It's called a DBS or deep brain stimulation. And it's from a company called Neuropack. And this worked for her. It got rid of the epilepsy and it got rid of the OCD and it got rid of other issues that she had. And now she has a chip in her brain fixing, wow. fixing stuff. It's pretty cool. It's cool, but it's it's crazy uh, that we're moving that fast. Let's follow up in five years, 10 yeah, years. She's yeah. still when alive. I, well, from what I understand, especially with OCD, like that changes. Yeah. And that also stems from other mental issues. Mm -hmm. That can stem from something else that happened. So it's like you're you're sort of in this spot, I think, Sabrina. I'm a skeptic. When, well, when when we read the story about the absolute medical miracle, it was that they replaced a man's heart with a pig heart, and he was successful, and it was he was alive, and it worked. And then and we go, wow, that's un unbelievable. We should be doing this. And, and then no one talks about it until. Well, yeah, five months later, they go, a uh, guy with a pig heart died. He's uh, he's no longer with us. We're going to no. try it again next year. That's yeah. for sure. R.I.P. Pig Man. It, it yeah. worked only for a small period of time. But they, like, add in the silver lining, like, he was going to die anyways. Mm -hmm. So we um we just used him as a guinea pig. Right. And then he still ended up suffering and dying. They're learning just a little bit at a time, and it could have an impact on you and your life at some point. Would you get a, a chip in your body or in your brain? Would you get one of these implants to fix something? Let us know. Send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Here's the story I teased before we get to your voice, your dispatches. Australian police arrested the host of a luncheon gathering that left three guests dead from suspected mushroom poisoning and a local preacher fighting for life. This happened wow. in, I'm trying to see, uh, Victoria in, uh, I think that's in uh, Queensland or in uh, Australia? I'm not Good sure. Time, Mike. Uh, Victoria, oh no, it's Australia, so that's where it said. All four guests were hospitalized the next day after they had this lunch, and uh, one of them spent two months gravely ill in the hospital. They went to her house to figure out what was going on here, and they found out that she had served up some mushrooms to these folks, and the mushrooms are what killed them. They had previously interviewed the 49-year-old about the fatal lunch, but no charges were filed. Now, finally, she's been arrested for this. What mushrooms, though, could it be? Like, is it a bad batch of <clears throat> often edible mushrooms, or mm -hmm. like she straight up got poisonous mushrooms that no one ever cooks with? Well, they used to tell us growing up, because a lot of kids where I lived out in the acreage would go out. You guys these, would eat from the fields. Well, we'd go into the cow fields. And after the rain, you would see the mushrooms pop up. And those were the good mushrooms that would make you trip out. Ooh, whoa, man. But they would do these reports every once in a while on TV, especially when the new kids were doing this. And they go, hey, just so you know. There's other mushrooms out there. And if you eat the wrong kind of mushroom, you can die from this. Yeah. There's poisonous mushrooms. That was, um, God, Into the Wild? Was that the right one? Uh, the guy who, like, lived out in the woods or whatever? Oh, yeah. Um, 
Alex yeah. Super Tramp, where he uh, he found herbs and they turned out to be poisonous. Yeah. and he died Spoiler on the bus. Alert. Spoiler alert. That's why I would only make it seven seconds out in the woods. If I was stranded out there, I don't know what berries to eat. I don't know what stuff is going to kill me or what's not going to kill me. I have like zero skills in in the survival world. I really got to get it together, Let's man. Let's put you out there with a video camera, Survivor <laughs> Man. It'll be like Michael Scott. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not gonna be. I am not gonna last very long. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's get to you and your dispatches. Here is a AJ Soup talking about kids. Hey, junkies. Hey. Hope everybody's having a great day today. You too. Uh, I just wanted to say, Sean, you're absolutely right about cottage cheese. If you didn't grow up eating it chances are you're going to think it's gross. I myself grew up eating it. My dad's uh, mother, my paternal grandmother was uh, Polish. So we had cottage cheese all the time. Um, we would make cottage cheese and noodles, which is basically just a Polish version of mac and cheese. You lost me. I'm, um, I'm not trying that out. That when I was a kid, big. the weirdest thing I probably ate uh, and my sister was convinced that I was an absolute psychopath, but I used to dip my bananas in ranch dressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Like that when I was in middle okay. school. And looking back on it as an adult, I can say that it was absolutely disgusting, but for some reason, when I was a little kid, I really liked it. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, that, I've not heard of that pairing before. Have that's, you ever killed a guy? Yeah, yeah, that's a red flag, I think. My friend Jeff, though, would eat when he would eat cottage cheese. I, I kid you not. My friend Jeff would take his cottage cheese and put chocolate milk in it, and like okay. pour I'm like a really rim of chocolate milk. In the, I think cottage oh. cheese is so unfair because it does not tastes like cheese. You have to no. put something in it in order True. for it to taste like anything. Yeah, honestly, I don't so know don't what call it does. It cheese. I don't know what it does taste like. You're right about that. That's it why it tastes I, like water. Yeah, you put salt and pepper all over it because it doesn't really have any flavor to it. It's just it's like the cold lettuce of cheese. It's like cold morsels. It's it's not, you know what? That is true. It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Here's Danger talking about cowboy bass. Yo, junkies, it's okay. Danger. Yeah, that Beatles song is good, but it's not exactly a banger. It's not something that you would play at a party or anything like that. But I'm sure if you were just showing out, Beatles taking songs. a cowboy bath and smoking <laughs> a joint, that you could probably get into it. And then also, who says pedantic besides Peter Griffin? Come on now. No, did I say pedantic? Oh, I no, know. another dispatch. Oh, did they? Okay. Shallow and pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fine word. There's nothing wrong with the word pedantic. Oh, Shut up. Uh, Shut Sean, up, you Maggie. suck. A hurtful name, but uh, dispatch name nonetheless. Sean, do you want to do a Family Guy impression real quick, though? No, I can't. Okay. I, I've, I've only do got a Stewie. couple. I know, I've been working on a couple. I worked oh. on the Danny DeVito one. <laughs> Uh, Please uh, go on. During the break. He did during no, the break. No, I, I have to hear him. If I hear <laughs> him, then I get me, it. Danny. I, yeah, yeah. I, but I have to hear it. And then, <laughs> if you play yeah, yeah. it, uh, what's he say? What, what's one of the things Jersey he Jersey Mike Subs. Uh, Jersey Mike Subs. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. That's pretty close, Say right? a sub above. It's a sub above. Okay. I lost it a little bit. I lost it. I've been if working Danny on DeVito that. If was in above. Godfather 3, then you were definitely <laughs> close. Oh, uh, fingers crossed. I'm just waiting for it. Here's Sean, you suck. How you doing, you guys? You were talking about eating weird stuff, which is not weird for me. I'm Mexican, so we eat corn like that. We eat corn with uh, mayo. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. That, that makes good. sense. That's tajin. free corn. You know, to give a little spicy. Oh, street corn is good. That, but the first time I ate that at work with my two guys that worked with me, the white boys, they looked at me like I was crazy. I don't know what the heck is this. <laughs> what are you but eating It's really that? good. That's how all Mexican people eat corn. You get my baby girl corn without mayo on it. Well, you can put butter on it, but without mayo, she'll slap it out of your hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have a good day. <laughs> See y'all. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate the dispatch. Uh, we're going to hear from you next. Go to the newsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. There's good news. Uh, somebody sent this over as a photo dispatch, All and right. it's a post mm-hmm. from Safe Moon on Facebook. And it says, We are reviewing the recent news, and we, of course, take these issues extremely seriously. Who's we? As, they arrested uh, your main people. <laughs> Maybe it's the guy that's on the run, yeah. the, the, the one Safe Moon guy who He's hasn't hiding. been arrested this week. As we receive more information, we will do our best to address the situation as quickly as possible. In the meantime, our teams continue to build, and we keep our focus on delivering for our users. Building our vision. what? 
building our vision and moving forward on our mission. Like, wh- what? They just announced the whole thing's a scam. You guys are still trying to pretend like Safe Moon's a thing? I'm throwing the towel. I like that comments are turned off, and there's probably a ton of laugh reacts oh, yeah. on that. Yeah, 191 reactions, and the laugh reaction is the number one reaction to the post from Safe Moon after those guys got arrested. All right, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we've got uh, somebody who is in big trouble and somebody who is celebrating a milestone. Both of those coming up next on the News Junkie. Wonder why the parking lot's so empty. Looks like someone's getting a prime spot today. Don't get burned by daylight savings time. Remember to set your clocks back Sunday. Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. We still have some delays and road blockage on State Road 434 westbound east of State Road 417 right around Hammock Lane. A crash with some possible road blockage. Keene Road both east and westbound at Marden Road. Accident blocking the center lane Old Lake Wilson Road northbound at US 192. And a crash at State Road 50 and Hiawassee Road. See traffic troubles, call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Mattress Warehouse of Kissimmee. Save up to 70% at Mattress Warehouse today and sleep better tonight, knowing you got the best possible price. So where would you look to find the perfect mattress? In a little mattress store or mattress warehouse? Visit mattresswarehouse.com. Bank of America is the proud employer of over 210,000 teammates who go above and beyond to support their clients' financial goals. Like Emily, who helps clients create a plan to build the future they want. Like a wedding, having kids, or retirement. All real achievements her clients have shared photos of. For all your financial goals, we're here to listen and help. What would you like the power to do? Learn more at bankofamerica.com slash about. Bank of America N.A., member FDIC, equal credit opportunity lender. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit forthepeople.com for an office near you. Stella Atois wants to know, who would you have dinner with? Join the Stella team at Hangry Bison in Winter Garden this Friday, November 3rd from 6 until 8 for an opportunity to let them know who you would have dinner with, past, present, or future, and why. Then start your dinner with a complimentary Stella Atois and Chalice. Just snap the QR code for details on your chance to win dinner on Stella from one of 10 participating restaurants. Let's do dinner. And as always, let's start with Estella. Hi, this is Joe Cordell of Cordell and Cordell. The holiday season should remind us that faith and family are the most important things in life. And we hope that you succeed in coming together with those you love this holiday season. Holidays have this magical power to magnify small things to ever greater memories over time. Happy holidays. Office in Orlando. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's attorneys. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Joseph Cordell, licensed in Missouri and Illinois only. Online at CordellCordell.com. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-374-2103. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-374-2103 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. Once you get Jersey Mike's catering with 12 subs for any event, I'll tell you, there's no going back to other catering. That'd be like going back to using Morse code. Welcome to Jersey Mike's. Okay, here we go. A pickle slice wrapped in a napkin? Oh, wait, try this. A brownie with extra olive oil? Whoops, I mixed up my dots and dashes. Here. 1,800 catering boxes coming right up. Uh Uh-oh. Nope. There's no going back once you get catering at Jersey Mike's. 
a sub above. Thousands of stores across the country are pulling brand name cold and allergy products off the shelves. Why? Because an FDA advisory panel recently determined that a drug they contain, oral phenylephrine, is ineffective as a nasal decongestant. Navage offers a drug-free solution that's fast and highly effective at relieving nasal congestion caused by colds and allergies. Navage uses suction to pull saline in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out of the other nostril to help suck out allergens, mucus, and germs. Nasal irrigation works, and Navage makes it quick and easy, but more than anything, it helps you breathe better. Don't waste your time or money on products that are ineffective. Trust drug-free Navage for fast relief to help you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Ask for Navage at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, or find us online at Navage.com. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. At Target, your favorites are our favorites. And when you can save on your favorites too, uh, yes please. This week only, get 20% off select breakfast essentials. That's 20% off all bagged and K-cup coffee. Talk about essential. From brands like Good & Gather, Starbucks, and more. 20% off all cereal, like Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms, the list goes on. And 20% off Tropicana and Simply Orange Juice too. But these deals end Saturday, so it's time for a Target run. Restrictions apply. At Simply Safe, our award-winning home security has advanced sensors, HD cameras, and now this 24/7 live guard protection, only from Simply Safe. Monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Now get 50% off any new system with Fast Protect monitoring at simplysafe.com/radio. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Why is iHeartRadio the number one streaming radio app? Free music. Free live radio stations from all over the country. Free podcasts. Free playlists. Free contests. Free artist radio stations. Commercial free stations. It's free. I love iHeartRadio. Join the millions of music, radio, and podcast fans on the number one streaming radio app now. iHeartRadio. 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 Free never sounded so good. No payments until February of next year? Visit nationstrucks.com right now. Haunted Hay Magic! Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Credit. C-R-E-D-I-T. That's credit. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Riding the daily roller coaster of viral news from the front row. Man, crazy numbers being put up by Britney Spears and her new book. It's just insane to me, the amount of uh, books that is sold. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because it's the first time in a long while where I've looked on social media and I've seen a bunch of people that I know posting Facebook. photos of it's a book, Instagram right? Twitter, like, you, don't you don't see that that often. <laughs> and now 1.1 1. 1 million book sales in the first week Damn. for the woman and me. That's a lot. Like, that's a really significant okay. amount of book sales. I went uh, to Target to get Halloween candy and passed, by the way, an entire shelf dedicated to all the celebrities who have memoirs out now. Uh-huh. Like, it was Jada Pinkett Smith, uh, Hugh, was it Hugh, Hugh Jackson? Hugh Lewis. Um, and then Britney Spears. <laughs> what? Yeah, he said Huey Lewis, but oh, uh, news, right? <laughs> yeah, Got all it. right. No, that was good. Um, yeah, Britney Spears completely sold out. Oh, well, really? Yeah, it was like completely empty. out. Wow. Empty. I mean, that's rare because you just don't see people hauling ass to get books. And and mind you, let me put this out there for some of you. I know some of you were ashamed of this. Do not be ashamed. Some of you will go, "Well, I didn't read it. I, I listened to the audiobook. Listening to the unabridged Shame. audiobook." is the exact same thing as reading the book. Although you're doing different things, one thing you're reading the text into your brain, the other thing you're absorbing it in through your ears, it still counts as reading a book or it counts as enjoying a book. 
And there's so many celebrities. Uh, there was, um, oh my God, I'm trying to think of somebody who did this. I guess here's one not too long ago. Um, Megan McCain had her, oh God, this is a failure. <laughs> Megan McCain had a book, right? Just to show you how big Britney Spears numbers are. It says the former View co-host released the hardcover ed edition of her book, Bad Republican, a memoir, after publishing it as an uh, audiobook Sounds on like Audible. Party. They said the book has been a dud. In its opening week, it sold 244 total copies. Wh what? <laughs> That's how I'm yeah. showing that. To show you how big 1.1 million copies is insane for a book to do that much. There's a lot of people who are, are interested in uh, Courtney was like, I don't know about them making a TV show out of this. I out said, of the if, book? Yeah. Well, I said, if they made a, like a docuseries or anything where you saw new footage of Britney Spears, you saw an interview with Britney Spears where people could get a grasp on where she's at mentally, I said, that would be a huge hit. It would be a massive hit because everybody looks at the Britney Spears stuff and goes, she's got something wrong with her. What is it? I don't know. What, like, is she ever going to be normal again? What, what's happening here? Everybody's curious about that. Why is she dancing with kitchen knives? What the hell's going on <laughs> in this house? And if you could like hear her back and forth with another human being and just hear her in a conversation, I know that would be big, but that shows you that she's still really drawing people in with 1.1 million sales in a week. Uh, speaking of that, the ladies are on top this week because Taylor hey Swift's redo of her album, 1989, Taylor's version, also sold more than 1 million copies in less than a week, which uh, makes her even rich. You're just giving Taylor Swift all of your money. That's what's happening. Because she's fine. dead. <laughs> a lot of cash going to that Taylor Swift lady. Uh, and <laughs> you might have been seeing this as of late. I've been battling this. I'm not happy about it. I feel... Are you Okay. Feel almost like a veteran battling this war. Okay, and, I'm gonna stolen battle this real quick. Uh, uh, no, it's truly a battle that I've been going through, and perhaps you have too. But YouTube is really ramping up the ad blocker battle. Oh yeah, they are. They're trying to force you to watch the YouTube commercials that used to be blocked by like plugins in your browser. And uh, now you'll see it. It's like it's really trying to play that ad. Like it'll get hung up for a second. I think Adblocker is changing some things to try to follow along, but they are disabling videos for users with ad blockers very soon. So you won't be able to watch anything until you allow ads on YouTube.com. They said that the use of ad blockers violates the platform's terms of service. And allowing ads support a diverse ecosystem of creators globally and will allow billions to access their favorite content on YouTube. All right, YouTube, here's the deal. I'm fine with that. I'll turn off my ad blocker on YouTube. But I have one request. YouTube does a thing where it knows if I'm in the shower or in the bath or somewhere where I can't how? really get to the phone. It just knows. I don't know how it knows, but it knows somehow. Because... Any other time, it'll be like a five-second video you can skip that's an ad, or there'll be a 30-second ad or a 15-second ad. All of those are fine, whatever. But if I'm indisposed, if I'm like in a bathtub and the phone's next to me playing a video, it'll go to an ad, and it'll play a 30-minute ad. Oh, I yeah. hate those. I doubt. don't understand this. Like, what, what is a 30-minute ad there for? They're like, ah, you know, this per they'll, they'll think it's the next they video. They clearly that love it. Yeah, it's, it's like a... Um, like an infomercial is what they'll yeah, be. It's annoying that they even allow people to upload something that long as right. bad. Yeah, 30 minutes it will be. And you're like, what the hell am I watching? Get out of here with this. And then my hand's all wet. And I'm, oh, God. And then you're involved in another crypto scam. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I might have one crypto scam is enough. Somebody earlier said you've got to fund the Safe Moon defense uh, account so that we, they can properly fight them, fight the charges in court. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. <laughs> it's, and it's probably coming. My soon. dollars at work. <laughs> Let's go over to a couple of dispatches. And then we're going to learn what's coming up on the next episode. Here is Nicholas talking about dem mushrooms. It says about the mushrooms. Yeah. Um, the thing is, there's four different kinds that are the most deadly, I believe. And what makes them dangerous is the fact that. The symptoms occur over the course of a couple of days. Oh, no. Most of them, I think it's after 24 hours. So you eat it, you think you're doing all right, and then next you know, uh, they begin to shut you down. I know the death cap begins in the central nervous system. Oh, that's not cool. 
shutting down your kidneys, your liver, your brain, and your heart. I know, I think... A terrible way to go. Yeah, that sounds bad. If I'm not mistaken. It looks a lot like another mushroom that's really delicious. It starts shutting down your kidneys and other organs. So All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's it's bad, bad, bad death. I don't want that. Uh, I'm not going to eat anything that I don't know what it is. I'll let the grocery stores decide. What should go up and... Oh, uh, you believe in big grocery? I do. I have to. I got to put my faith in them because I don't know what I'm supposed to eat, what I'm not supposed to Unreal. eat. Unreal. Butters says Family Guy voice. I was just wondering where the Playboy was. <laughs> Come here, Sean Watson. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Popsicle. I'm going to argue. That guy's the creepiest character in any cartoon ever. Mm. Like He's an old... That's so funny. That's it's fine. almost <laughs> like his name is Herbert the Pervert on the show. <laughs> right, yeah, he's the weirdest character. Where's that uh, on on Any animated feature. Mm. Here's uh, Mad King talking about Chips in the Bowl. Hey, junkies, what's happening to Mad King here? Let's see, Chips in the Bowl or Chip and Me? I'm going to stick with Chips in the Bowl, guys. All right. At least for now. He's against the technology. Uh, one more. Real Over quick. and out, sir. Here's Banana Potato. Howdy, howdy. Hey. All this talk about Neuralink and chips going into your brain makes me think of Black Mirror. Like, I'm sure a lot of listeners are thinking about mm-hmm. there's an episode where there's a chip like the in people's Cyrus brains. And- I hear so much about Black Mirror. I've never, I think we, I think we watched one episode and then I said, uh, but I didn't realize, I guess it's different every single time. Yeah. Like, it's not a continuing thing. Yeah, it's short stories, I think. It's kind of like the Twilight Zone, I guess. And, uh, like, they don't have a wow. narrative that you're following. Way to age yourself, my dude. What? They just redid that. They did the Twilight Zone with Jordan Peele. You didn't see any of those? No. Oh, they were good, man. No, because I like you won't give me your Zone. CBS login. <laughs> no. I've asked a million times. I don't give me my login. You get your own login. You have plenty of logins over there. Yeah. You're not subscribed to that? No, no, no. Mm. I'm not doing it just for Twilight. I'll trade you. It's not Twilight. <laughs> it's the Twilight Zone. It's two different Whatever, things. Whatever, Spider Monkey. <laughs> totally different. It's, the episode's called The Entire History of You. And basically, these chips allow you to record your memories. Mm-hmm. And you can jump backwards, you can pause, you can zoom in to specific moments that you've lived in your life. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I think about that. I think about another episode. Um, where this guy has a chip in his brain and he's playing like a real life video game. Um, and the chip, well, I don't want to spoil anything, spoiler alert, but basically the chip makes his brain, like he gets, he gets a stutter. He starts oh, going no. crazy. Yeah. And- big shock. It goes bad. It goes poorly for Weird. him when he puts a chip in his brain. That's what everybody's so worried about right now. That's the problem that people are fearing when we see that this technology is going forward at a really, really fast pace, and it's working for some people. But long-term, what happens? That's why there's such a resistance to this. When we come back, the next episode with Sabrina, what's coming up on the next episode? Well, Sean, I'll tell you. What's coming up on the next episode? Elon Musk has $800 billion worth of companies, but still finds the time to... Want to fight Mark Zuckerberg? Guy Fieri is entering the liquid game, Flavor Town Juice, baby. Plus, all I want for Christmas is twenty million dollars for you plagiarizing my song. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. If Twitter is imploding, we're going along for the ride. Join us at Real Radio 1041 on Twitter, powered by Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro with a look at your Central Florida forecast. You can expect a mix of sun and clouds today. Forecast highs reaching the mid-70s. Going to be a nice afternoon. Breezy winds out of the northeast at 15 to 20 plus miles per hour. As we head into the overnight hours tonight, you can expect those lows to dip into the low 60s with warming temperatures as we head into the weekend. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Need an oil change? Need it fast? Drive into any Central Florida area Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where our certified technicians are happy to help you get back on the road in no time. Never leave your car and no appointment needed. For money-saving coupons, go to VIOC.com. 
To everyone who appreciates a fresh meal that comes from the heart, let our team member Emma tell you what's special about the Culver's Way. We take great tasting burgers seriously in Wisconsin. Favorite recipes, fresh ingredients, real Wisconsin cheese. It's a place where traditions matter. So of course it's where Culver's Butter Burger was born. Fresh, never frozen beef, seared to perfection, then topped with a lightly buttered toasted bun. What can we say? To us, it's a whole lot more than a burger. It's a taste of home. From From Wisconsin Wisconsin with with love. love. Welcome to Delicious. To everyone who craves a rich and creamy hometown treat, let our team member Nevaeh tell you how we do it at Culver's. Every scoop of Culver's fresh frozen custard is made in small batches throughout the day. Because where we come from, the little things make a big difference. Like bringing back a seasonal favorite. Our salted caramel pumpkin concrete mixer and pumpkin spice shake are back for a limited time. Handcrafted with farm fresh dairy and real pureed pumpkin just for you. So it's the best part of your day. And we mean the best. From From Wisconsin Wisconsin with with love. love. Welcome to Delicious. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away four days in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico with hotel and airfare included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to text MUSIC to 96551. It's only for the first 50 listeners to text MUSIC to 96551. They give you up to a year and a half to travel, but you must be one of the first 50 to text MUSIC to 96551. Grab your phone and text the word MUSIC to 96551 for your chance to get four days in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico with hotel and airfare included for only $99. That's music to 96551. You heard right. Be one of the first 50 listeners to text music to 96551 and get four days in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico with hotel and airfare included for only $99. But you must be one of the first 50 listeners to text music to 96551. Text the word music to 96551 for your chance to go on vacation to Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico. Identity theft shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, more than $29 billion were stolen last year alone. That's a criminal success story and a wake-up call for everyone else. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity. LifeLock makes it easy to help protect yourself if you become a victim. A dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. Join now and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code at LifeLock.com, promo code Clay. This is Scott Trout of Cordell & Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we have represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Set up a consultation and take the first step. Office in Orlando. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell & Cordell's attorneys. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia only. Online at CordellCordell.com. Warning, if you are 60 or older, RSV can be a dangerous respiratory virus. Not all dangers come with warning labels. Talk to your pharmacist or doctor about getting vaccinated against RSV today. Learn more at BewareOfRSV.com. This message is brought to you by Pfizer. Jesse Kelly here. Do you feel protected? My personal protection plan is owning gold. The Oxford Gold Group helps you buy gold to have on hand or convert it into your 401k. If things get weird, I have gold on hand. I like that. You can buy coins or convert part of your 401k with the Oxford Gold Group. It's easy and safe. 833-995-GOLD. That's 833-995-GOLD. 833-995-G-O-L-D. On a constant quest to stay calm... Like that bear in the hammock. This is- Things happening in the world of entertainment and beyond. And Peter emails to tips at the news junkie.com about the new Beatles song. Okay. He says, For everybody who thinks now and then the new Beatles song is boring or even familiar with the Beatles catalog, they have over 200 songs. And while this might be a hot take, most of them are boring and unforgettable or forgettable, he says. Uh, not a big fan, I guess, of the I Beatles. I love the Beatles. It's just like for the hype that this was, I don't. I don't think that it's yeah. like ready for the top forty radio. This the wasn't Beatles a standout. Fan will love it. 
Yeah, it's it's a good, good to have a little extra thing, but it's not one of their best. All right, let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV, and you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Okay. Nothing. <laughs> it's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't just, know what that was. I just found it. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Hold up. You okay over there? It's just so funny. It, all it was labeled as was Sean Girl, and I'm like, that's it. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, but you know who the man is when it comes to refinancing or buying a first dream home? It's that mortgage guy, Don. That mortgage guy, Don.com. And, of course, the Home Loans Radio Show, he's hosting it. He's answering your questions live. Or if you need to get him, get to him uh, even quicker, go to the website, thatmortgageguydon.com. Available to answer all of your questions via live chat, email, appointment, Zoom call, or get your question answered live this weekend on the Home Loans Radio Show, thatmortgageguydon.com. Twenty-two years ago, ready to feel old? Yes. Two thousand one. Twenty-two years ago, this was released. <laughs> uh, Mike Wazowski. Oh wow, Monsters Incorporated is twenty-two years old. Damn. Woof. Now this is a a little bit sooner than that, but still, I mean, one of these days I'm going to be like 20 years ago, but it was just three years ago, 2020. This song right here passed Despacito as the most viewed video on YouTube. Any mm. guesses? Uh, uh, Justin Bieber? No. No, no, no. Man, more than Despacito. Yes. yes that's uh, I can't. I don't know. Oh, well, it has a uh, very simple words. Do 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 do. A baby shark. Yeah. 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 That yeah. adds up. Yeah. So yeah, at the time, three years ago, it had passed Despacito as the most viewed video on YouTube. Baby Shark now has over 13 billion views. Damn. You think that little kid who was singing that song got any money? Like th- somebody had to go in the studio and record that. I bet that little girl didn't even get that much. Uh, I think I saw some TikTok about it. But what's amazing to me? Oh is my that- God! Hold on. How what? long ago was that? How long ago was the song? The well, it on it was three years ago that it surpassed Despacito. But okay. the, the song itself, like I sang it at camp when I was a child. Wait, no, it's not that old. No, no, the no, song, no I'm talking like about Baby Shark. Like, yeah, not uh, the one that we like here, like that. What I just played you, the trap remix of. But okay, the lyrics themselves have been around for decades. In 2016 is when they released that YouTube video and where that came out. So the young girl who did that is now probably like an adult, which Weird. is kind of wild. Yeah, 13 billion views, while Despacito can only brag about having 8.3 billion Losers. views. Yeah. For real. This gal, everyone's talking about the memoir. Brittany. Would you read this? Would you get into this book? Oh, absolutely. If it's available while I'm at the airport, I'll I'll certainly grab it. I got got time. But uh, Britney Spears, and this is the best time for them to do it, her childhood home in Kentwood, Louisiana, is now on the market for $1.2 million. Wait, and where? Where is this? In Louisiana. Kentwood. Mm, that sounds high for Kentwood, Louisiana. Oh, yeah? Why? Why is that? Because it's a is smaller Kentwood a bad, town. Bad spot? No. Outside of New Orleans and Baton Rouge, Louisiana is a lot of really rural stuff. So it's still one of the places that you can move and get a house for not too much money. But I just let it slip from my head that this was Britney Spears' house, exactly. and that's why it's expensive. <laughs> Especially because some parts of it haven't been touched since Britney actually lived there. That includes a door with the phrase, Christina sucks, Brit rules. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know what it's about. Christina. Oh, is it Christina Aguilera? Yeah, they yeah, were in a uh, Mickey Mouse Club together. Wow. Yeah, it sounds like someone wasn't a fan of Christina Aguilera, but there's no actual confirmation that she was the intended target. Now, the house still has some of Britney's artwork on the walls and her name carved in concrete. The original dance studio is still intact at this home. The house is 2,300 square feet of living space and sits on 1.87 acres. So $1.2 million is not bad at all, considering the square footage and the acres. 
Brittany's dad True. sold it. How less, many acres did you say? Uh, one point eight seven, almost almost two acres. Yeah. Of land. Yeah. This, this guy, reality expert here. No, no, I, that's not a lot of land out in that in that area. There, it's it's got to be bigger. You're gonna want more. For what? A For farm? a farm? Yeah, maybe a farm or it's it's the bayou. So you know, it's like you got low sea level issues. Yeah, we're in the bayou. It's, I might move out there and and do what? You're gonna hate it. I think the people of Louisiana might accept me. I think I they might don't. take me in. I really and, don't. And they'll be like Sean. We we like you. We agree with you about the uh, alien goblin baby thing. And then and they see you with uh, pancakes and no syrup, and you are out of there. Come I think on they might like the showbree. yeah. They might like the simplicity of that. They'll be like, yeah, you're onto what, something. Have here. you had food from Louisiana? Oh, that's true. They go the opposite way. Yeah. Come get some gumbo here, boy. It is worth mentioning that uh, Brittany's dad sold this house less than three years ago for two hundred eighty nine thousand dollars. So, jeez, a bit of a mark up. Uh, as we move on and get into some relevant news. Oh, wait, no, it's just the same news we've been hearing for months. Elon Musk still wants to fight Mark. Yeah. And this doesn't feel like it's going to happen. Mark has yet to respond to any of this besides, like, that one photo of him training. But yeah. it's because he likes MMA. He would and kick sunscreen. Elon's ass. Mark Zuckerberg is actually on a good run right now. He's turned some of his companies around, and he finally— What other he, companies? Uh, he um, Facebook and Instagram and stuff, they, like, they actually are making more money now than they were, and they stopped wasting as much on the stupid metaverse thing. Uh, yeah. And then they actually did take some of their technology. The latest one I saw where he—remember when he was doing the interview with that guy— in virtual reality, and <laughs> like they look like they yeah, look like real true. people this time. The other ones look so embarrassing; they look like cartoons. I think he's on a good run right now. Well, you know, put some legs in the metaverse, and then I'll, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. start talking. But uh, speaking of talking, the Joe Rogan experience had Elon Musk on it. I think it was right before Joe tried to hit the new truck with a crossbow. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, and he said, he accused me of not being serious. I said, listen, at the end of the day, I'll fight you at any place, anywhere, under any rules. That's what I said. He said, name the place. I'm happy to fight him in a house on a mouse with a louse. <laughs> oh, God. Like, go full Dr. Seuss here. One Nerd. previous report claimed that Musk was afraid of being drug tested for a fight versus okay. Zuckerberg. Okay, He's, he likes to do this thing where he pretends that he does drugs a lot. He it took one hit of he a joint. He didn't even hit it. You know yeah, when he, people have never smoked a cigarette, but they're on camera, they're like acting. They're supposed and to they be just puff smoke, and they just yeah. puff it out. You he doesn't do drugs. He he does a lot of things to try to a, appear cool, and it comes off as cringe to me. Yeah, I mean everything. I, he I'm says. not the guy. Like there's so many people that are like ah, Elon Musk is an idiot. He's never done it. Like I'm the guy who still goes. Look, guys, he's doing some cool stuff. Like he's he's got some good companies going on here. Yeah, but then but, he gets on a panel and he's like, um, Ted, like the bear, and this yeah. is Ted talk. Isn't that great? His his humor <laughs> level. It's a little lacking. It's very South African. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that doesn't translate well. They're a dry people. Mm -hmm. The same week that Mariah Carey announces that the Christmas season starts on November 1st um, is also the same week that she is now being sued for $20 million Damn. over the song that has made her way more than that, I assume. All I want for Christmas is you. That is correct. <laughs> a lot. Sean gets Points. the point. According to TMZ, two men are claiming they wrote a song with the same name and are seeking $20 million in damages. Good God. Why now? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Andy Stone and Troy Powers have a holiday song that they made in 1989, same title as Mariah's hit song. The news outlet reported the two men filed the suit last year where Andy Stone claimed Mariah stole their song. And the new documents obtained by... TMZ Stone and Powers claim that they are substantial similarities in the lyrical hook, melody, and overall feel. Yeah. Overall feel being Christmas. So could you sue anybody for any Christmas songs because the overall feel is holiday spirit? That was not from TMZ. That was from Did, Didn't Super they just right lose the last one? They lost the last lawsuit, right? Did they lose it? I thought it just uh, they just continued it. Oh, maybe it's still going. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be ignored. She has plenty of uh, money and power behind to mm -hmm. shut it down immediately. Plus, is there no statute of limitations when it comes to stuff like that? It's I'm not been sure. A very about long that. time. Yeah. Now, uh, she released this in '94. Of course, tremendous success. The song itself has achieved remarkable success as well. 
It consistently is in the top of the charts, and she's hoping that it'll be even earlier. Uh, Mariah's team has yet to comment or respond to this lawsuit uh, at all. But best of luck to uh, you, Mr. Andy and Troy, for a failed lawsuit, I'm Who's sure. You? I'm just trying to find... Was that Troy or... <laughs> that was Andy and Troy. That was Andy and both of them. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right Should here. It be as funny as it is? <laughs> this guy right here, or at least the car that he drove in one particular movie, is headed to the auction block. Leonardo DiCaprio. That is correct. And the one and only Lamborghini that Leo drove in the 2013 hit movie Wolf of Wall Street is going up for sale. Did he drive it, or did he drive it into things? And that's the one where he like the Quaaludes hit. Was that the? I- the Lamborghini? Is it the white Lamborghini? I assume That so. was the Quaalude scene. No, I, I don't remember that scene very well, but remember the movie was though? big. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> I really like loosens up the stuff in your lungs. Mm-hmm. Any hoodles, uh, 1989 Lamborghini um, Contoc? Contoc? Yeah, that's what it is. 25th anniversary ride. Joining the uh, cars lineup on the on the grid Abu Dhabi auction next month being shown off for the first time since its big screen debut. It's being offered at an estimated uh, how much money? Oh, a Lamborghini is, is definitely an it expensive. Is a, as filmed condition, by the way. This is like the starting auction price? Yes. Okay. Or, they, or is this what they're estimating it's going to sell for? Um, they said an estimate. So I assume an that estimate. Uh, I don't see a starting price, but it's all right. I there. know. I don't know much about cars. I know okay. just basics. But I know a I lot think, about the Bayou and Kentwood, but not cars. I, I know <laughs> tons about that. I, I think that Lamborghinis are like $250,000 or right? something. I think okay. somewhere around there. And this is an 80s one, but it's been in the movie, so I'm yeah. going to say. It's beat up, by the way. Uh, oh, is where it? Terror has been hey. preserved for a decade because it was acting as a time capsule for Martin Scorsese's film. It's got scissor doors. Um, been there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sleek finish on it. Uh, Hero Car is just one of 658 rides produced for the 25th anniversary. Hero Car lineup. is good too. That means it's like the one, not they probably had a bunch of them, but it was the most important one of all the prop cars. I was saying $100,000. $100,000 is mm. the estimated bid. That's my or, guess. Okay. 300000 $1.5 million oh. to $2 million. Jesus. I was close. For oh, an 80s yeah. beat-up Lamborghini? It was in the movie. Damn. Now, production also rented a second Lambo during filming to serve up as the backup car, but that one was only on screen for a few seconds, so the one up for sale is the real deal. The lucky buyer will also get one of four of the film's most iconic costumes featured in the scene where his character climbs out of the car after being real messed up on Quaaludes, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, both signed by Scorsese, Leo, and Margot Robbie. They still got Quaaludes crew. out there? They floating around anywhere? No. I've, no? Yeah. I, I, really? I have a friend Shit. who takes Whoa. Quaaludes. You have a friend who takes like, Quaaludes? Like prescribed Quaaludes. I don't think Wait. they're as powerful as the ones that we saw in the movies. Do they just, even make them anymore? Yeah, I just never hear anybody mention Quaaludes. Like, nobody's ever like, I'm going to do some Quaaludes this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> I think they got rid of them because they were too fun. Oh. Like original Four loco. Oh. Ooh. I will also mention, I think this has a lot to do with the estimated price. Um, it also comes with a couple of crew hoodies and DVDs of the movie. Nice. Mm-hmm. So, uh, happy business, everybody. And uh, finally, I will leave you with this. Dolly Parton is jumping on the movie train, my friends. I'm begging of you, please. You will be able to see her on the big screen, just like Taylor and Beyonce. They say that uh, she's going to the upcoming rock album, Rockstar, Mm -hmm. a first listen fan event to movie theaters across the country. Basically, you join her with other Dolly fans. And you have uh, never be seen, never be seen footage, <laughs> as they say. Do you believe? I it? never. Be- All your dreams and me on Instagram if you want to catch all the Ireland fun, and most importantly, say it with me, America. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. 
The rights to <laughs> Quaalude, by the way, were held by Pfizer. Oh, Big surprise. So Pfizer so much. has all the drugs. Before the drug was discontinued in the United States in 1985 because it was too addicted, it was widely oh. abused, or uh, because it was used recreationally. Too fun. That's weird, though. Like, we have all, all kinds of other drugs that are like that that people use recreationally, and they don't stop the companies from... Like uh, using Xanax or well, but um, Oxycontin uh, is not no longer around. They no, I think it's formula. Not did cotton, that? Not cotton or whatever. Contin, I Contin. think. Contin. I, I thought you'd still get that. I mean, I, I know that they wow, like, crack can you down still on get it, Sean. I've never done Oxycontin. Let's do it. So. We'll do it today. All right. So when we come back, we're going to do okay. Oxycontin, and we'll also figure out what celebrity is in big trouble. I talked about that earlier, but I'll pay it off. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win $1,000 and a little. Holiday magic. It's just minutes away. And brought to you by Mills Air. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Northbound OBT before Lee Road still have some shutdowns and some slowdowns from an earlier crash in that location. Keene Road, both east and westbound, slowing down at Martin Road due to an earlier crash. Old Lake Wilson Road uh, northbound still has that center lane closed at US 192. And they're still working a minor crash in Brevard. Ellis Road eastbound west of Wickham Road. See traffic troubles? Call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line. At 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Presented by Kentucky Fried Chicken, $6 two-piece drum and thigh combo. For just 6 bucks, you get two pieces of juicy chicken, creamy mashed potatoes, a warm flaky biscuit, and a medium ice cold drink. Prices and participation may vary. Taxes, tips, and fees extra. It's finger looking good. Call today, cool today. Visit cooltoday.com. At Bank of America, we asked our employees what they wanted most. I want to work where everyone is welcome. To have benefits that take good care of my family. To move forward in my career. We listened and did all that and more. It's why we're proud to be Just Capital's number one top company to work for. Bank of America. What would you like the power to do? Just Capital used annual rankings to track performance across the five worker-related issues evaluated. Bank of America and a member FDIC equal credit opportunity lender. Why choose a Sleep Number smart bed? Because only the Sleep Number Climate 360 smart bed lets you each sleep up to 13 degrees cooler or warmer on either side. While you both sleep at your ideal level of firmness, comfort, and support, your Sleep Number setting. And now our all-new next-gen smart beds have temperature benefits. So you sleep better night after night. And now the new Queen Sleep Number C2 smart bed is only $8.99. Ends Monday. To learn more, visit one of our 11 Orlando Sleep Number stores or visit sleepnumber.com. Burden of Guilt, a brand new true crime podcast that tells the harrowing story of Tracy Raquel Burns, a woman who spent four decades at the center of one of the most bizarre and disturbing cases in American history. Was she responsible for the mysterious death of her baby brother? I was told that Matthew died in an accident, and no one really talked about it. Really tough family dynamics fueled much of what happened in this case. Listen to Burden of Guilt on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. In this week's Marketers Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing. Although we're marketing at a very broad scale, it does include specific local markets, and that's the beauty of iHeart's network. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. The Chase Inc. Business Premier Card is made for people who make things happen, like me. I'm Sam, founder and CEO of Manifest, a product design company that makes everyday products design smarter. I get 2.5% cash back on purchases of $5,000 or more, plus unlimited 2% cash back on all other purchases, which helps us make more smart ideas into a brilliant reality. The Inc. Business Premier Card. Learn more at chase.com forward slash business premier. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Real business owner compensated for their participation. Account subject to credit approval. Restrictions and limitations apply. Cards are issued by JPMorgan Chase Bank. Any member of FDIC. 
it's hot. We all know that. Have you noticed your power bill is skyrocketing? The current cost of energy is the highest it's ever been, and it's probably going to just keep getting higher. Solar Source can change that for you. I recently took the plunge with Solar Source with my pool heater, and man, it's been a game changer. I love working with Solar Source. Solar Source has nearly 40 years in the business. They bring the power of the sun to over 6,000 Central Florida homes since 1984. Mine and my mom's and my sister's included. Solar Source makes it easy with a free estimate. Monster listeners, they have an online tool that lets you get your own solar estimate in just 30 seconds. No pressure, no salesman, just the facts. You can harness your own power and stop wasting thousands of dollars every year renting your electricity at higher and higher prices. Visit solarsource.com slash monsters and see how easy it is to get your instant hassle-free quote. Solar Source, the most trusted name in solar. Solarsource.com slash monsters. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. Treat your taste buds to the King's Hawaiian Pork and Slaw Sandwich, back for a limited time at Firehouse Subs. With slow-smoked pulled pork, melted pepper jack, and sweet and tangy slaw on a toasted King's Hawaiian bun. Enjoy one today with our new Tropical Cherry Limeade, a refreshing blend of sweet cherry and pineapple flavors with a squeeze of fresh lime. Only at Firehouse Subs. Beverage is artificially flavored. Participate in U.S. locations. Texting privacy policy in terms of conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message data rates may apply. Reply stop, stop, stop. Binges, blackouts, regret, shame, trying and failing to drink less or quit. Hi, I'm Jonathan, founder of Or Health. I know how scary drinking too much can be because I struggled with alcohol misuse for most of my adult life. But I also know that it is possible to drink less or quit. And medication can help. Now, Trexone is a safe, effective medication that makes it easier to cut back or quit drinking. So you don't have to rely on willpower alone. I started Or Health to make access to Naltrexone convenient and private to help people like me regain control over alcohol. If you're ready to stop drinking or just drink less, text finally to 3230. To get a secure link to Or Health's private online assessment, our licensed medical professionals will evaluate your assessment, and if medication is right for you, prescribe it online. We'll deliver your prescription right to your door. No doctor's office visits required. Text the word finally to 323232 to get started today. That's finally to 323232. This is Scott Trout of Cordell and Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we have represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Set up a consultation and take the first step. Office in Orlando. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's attorneys. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia only. Online at CordellCordell.com. Whoa, what happened to my grocery store? <laughs> this is your grocery store. No, this is a... A farmer's market? Yes. Any grocery store is like a farmer's market when you shop fresh from Florida. Fresh from Florida brings the farmer's market to wherever you buy groceries. Look for our logo or ask for Fresh from Florida. Get in the spirit with 50% off everything for a limited time during the holiday preview event. Now through November 13th at Banana Republic Factory. From merino wool sweaters to luxe outerwear, explore our favorite styles to give and to get. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Haunted Hay Magic! Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, cash. C-A-S-H. That's cash. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may the odds be ever in your favor. When good things go bad, bad things make headlines. This is the... It really just kind of tickles me to see that young people who 
have all the technology in the world in front of them are now like kind of uh, looking back at the days before technology and they want to recreate that. And you know how these things pop up. Be Real popped up and it's like, oh my God, it's the new breakthrough app. Be Real. Yeah. One photo a day. Take your photo and post it. It was cool. It was neat. And people did it. And then, fun concept. Then they didn't. You know, it, it's big until they don't do it anymore. But the new one that a lot of people are downloading is an app called Laps. I don't know if anybody's heard of this or used this yet, but nope. I've had Laps, dances on mine. Laps is <laughs> funny <laughs> to me because Laps is like we are pining for old technology, even though we have new technology. Uh, let me explain here. Laps is a photo app with a tagline, friends, not followers. It had its launch in 2021, but after a re-release, it shot to number two in the United States on the app charts. And they said, much like another app called Dispo, Laps encourages people to take pictures the way they did in the analog days when disposable cameras were all the rage. So you take out your phone with the Laps app. You take a picture, and then the picture has to develop in the app. That's stupid. When the photos are ready, <laughs> several hours later, the takers can decide if they want to post them for their lapse friends or archive them for private viewing. Get so, a disposable camera. It's, it's like, like, you can immediately take the picture if you want to, but this takes the picture and makes it like you have to get your, your uh, film developed. And it takes time for the picture to start developing. And you go, okay. I mean, yeah, you guys, you could also put those phones down. We have something called a Polaroid camera. And that actually is something you have to wait for it to develop. Whatever, and Grandpa. It's, like, yeah. it's so funny. It's like you have all the technology and you all of a sudden want to go back in time. You're like, I want it to take a while for me to get a photo. Getting a photo during my lifetime is, really has gone on a journey. First, it was when I was very, very young, you had to drop off your film roll and oh, I thought took... you had the one where they put the sheet over their head. No, yeah. I wasn't alive. I'm not that old. And they they would you drop off the film roll and it would take several days for the film to get developed. And then the competition came out with the 24 hour photo processing. So it was like, oh, my God, in just one day, you could see what your photos look like. Incredible. And then they came out with the disposable cameras. And then all of a sudden, boom, now you take a picture and there it is right in front of you instantaneously. So I, I did see this thing. I forget the name of it. But it was the same concept of what you just described, like disposable uh -huh. camera. It was it Dispo? Because Dispo is the other one they said that does that. So, but it was um, the way that it was presented was for weddings. So it's mm -hmm. like, let your guests, you know, have disposable cameras, but it, it's right there on the front of your screen. So you, you get this app, you scan the QR code when you arrive to the wedding, and then... As the wedding proceeds, like you're you're just opening up your phone and it's right yeah. there, and then you take pictures. Like eventually, it all becomes a huge album for bride and groom or bride. Honestly, and bride that's and groom a groom. pretty good idea. I think that's great. You know, and yeah. in that case, like that makes sense to me. This what you just told me. It's like, <laughs> it's like why would you want to wait several hours for your photograph to develop digitally? But I guess it's working. At least it's got some people's attention. And they're focused in on this. Uh, I like this actress, and she is getting some heat for her Halloween costume. You not, might not know her by her name, but Emily Hampshire, or Hampshire is her name, and she's from Schitt's Creek. She played uh, Stevie on Schitt's Creek. Oh, yeah. Stevie and wasn't, isn't that the actual daughter? Oh, no, no, Stevie is the manager of the hotel. Twyla yeah, yeah. was uh, their actual daughter. You're right, yeah. Emily Hampshire is the one. Here she is. If you're not familiar, you might recognize her face. But she uh, went out for Halloween, and uh, she's really lovable, likable on the show that uh, she's on Shit's Creek. But she dressed up as Amber Heard and Johnny Depp for <laughs> Halloween, and I guess she, she deleted the posts, and people were Why? going at her for it. Uh, it says Emily Hampshire, who played Stevie on Schitt's Creek for six seasons, apologized Thursday for her Halloween costume this year. In photos she has since deleted, she showed off a group costume with a friend. She, as Johnny Depp, and her pal as Amber Heard, both in the outfits they wore to court. 
She said, I want to address what is one of the most thoughtless and sensitive and ignorant things I've no. ever done. <laughs> Jesus. Who came after what? Johnny Depp fans? Like, what did uh, she do that was offensive? I don't know. It could be that Amber Heard fans and Johnny Depp fans maybe got angry about this. It's just dumb people on Instagram is what it ends up being. For Halloween, I stupidly thought it would be funny to dress as Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I'm deeply sorry to shame for putting something that awful out into the universe. And... Uh, I don't, it doesn't seem very crazy to me, but she said domestic abuse is never, ever funny. That's what they're boiling it mm. down to. Oh, uh, so she's a Amber Heard fan. Uh, I, mean, I heard it, that she but, had like a piece of poop in the pocket. Oh, did she? Yeah, That's yeah nice. it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's pretty funny. I, look, if, if you have a Johnny Depp Amber Heard costume on, you're not necessarily making fun of domestic abuse. You're the court case was a yeah. giant thing. It was like a big cultural thing and you're referencing that not the crimes or anything else that's alleged to have happened i think that's fine i don't think it's that big of a deal people on instagram are so weird man yeah. it's getting weirder and weirder and i like i never go to the comments over there because i like well the comments are bad on everything don't almost. bother i stand by it i mean i know some people don't agree with me on this but tiktok is the only app where the comments are actually funny uh, they're good they There's, are because you can you know, pin them and like uh -huh. them, and they. But sometimes it's it's an S show and TikTok oh, really? as well. <laughs> as bad as Next Door, or not that not quite that bad. <laughs> Maybe not as bad. I, so like you know, over uh, yesterday, like there was a helicopter flying around. I was a cop going around my neighborhood, like mm -hmm. lights on, searching for somebody. I go into sleuth mode. They're looking for somebody. It's very yeah. clear. But I go to Next Door to see if anyone else has any other information impossible to find your damn neighborhood now oh is it really yeah. yes it's like it's ads or like whatever group you're on or like uh, it's, it's they ruined it yeah that, that's the best feature of it that's the thing you would want because like, nobody else is gonna be talking about that exactly. except for the people immediately around you mine my next door was so good yesterday oh it was actually courtney's but she showed it to me so i'll, <laughs> I'll steal it from her she leans wow. over and she goes look at this and a woman posted on our next door and she posted a photograph three times in a row. And she said, this is an image of Jesus Christ. Oh, my, my God. I saw the same did, one. Did you see that? <laughs> I saw the same thing. I clicked the post. The first comment's like, you posted this five times already, man. <laughs> she posted it a bunch of times in a row. And you can't and, see Jesus at no, all. And it's a picture of her aquarium. And she goes, this is the vision of Jesus Christ in my aquarium. And you're unbelievable. And you're looking at it, you're like, I, I'm not seeing Jesus Christ in this thing. I want to see this. <laughs> I got, I'll have to try to find it again if I can. But it didn't look like Jesus Christ. There was no, no resemblance there whatsoever. And she posted it a whole bunch of times like she was really on to something. It was so funny. Uh, let's uh, go to a couple of dispatches real quick because you got thoughts on your mind, even about this Johnny Depp and Amber Heard costume. Here's the abominable Mormon. Happy Thursday, junkies. Friday, All right, so the only reason I'm bothered by the costume is because they didn't include the turd. You have to do include the turd. Well, if you're gonna do the Amber Turd and Johnny Depp story, uh, but also for anyone getting upset, actually being upset about the costume, that's stupid. They did like two. TV series things like one on Netflix, right. one on Hulu about the whole thing. Like this, this isn't off limits here. This isn't on the same level. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of weird gatekeeping on Instagram. I don't know why I'm going so hard after Instagram, but I've just seen so much of this lately where it, the, everybody goes there to tell you why you've done something wrong. Uh, like this is the reason why you've done something wrong and you need to apologize for it, or you can't do this, can't do that. You're not allowed to make fun of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Why not? It was hilarious. She pooped in his bed, for God's sake. It was the Yorkie. <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, here's Gaga Muffin is talking about quaaludes. We drug some people out of the woodwork with the quaaludes. Afternoon, Junkie. I can barely hear you. No, He's on quaaludes. Can't get quaaludes Maybe anymore. Let me boost him. Nancy Reagan put a stop to that in oh. the late 80s with yeah. her say no to drugs yeah, campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time I... Smoked half one and ate the other smoked half. Smoked a you quaalude? quaaludes? Jesus. That's hard. I like this guy. <laughs> he's lived life, man. That's why he's whispering he's now. He's mad at Nancy Reagan. He smokes pills. Can cool you, guy. Can you smoke anything? Yeah. Yeah, they put your mind to it. So if you had, Eric, I'm, we're going to go down a weird path here. <laughs> Just bear with me. If I took like a Tylenol and crushed it up, 
and smoke the Tylenol? Would I get like the the pain relief no. that I would get out of the Tylenol if I swallowed it? I like think you could it would do anything burn to your lungs. It? Like it's because, not good for you. Because if I wanted to like put the Tylenol in my backside and and boof, take, it. boof it, if I wanted to boof the Tylenol, you could do that, right? That works, from what I heard, right? Theoretically, yeah. Theoretically, that would work. And I was just wondering, can you take anything like that and then just choose to smoke it? <laughs> To ingest it into your body. But the, when you smoke it, it's going through, like, a different path. Like, the mm -hmm. re reason why boofing it and, I think, stuff through your, your eyeball is that it goes, like, right to your bloodstream. Yeah, it hits you fast. Right. But it, you, all the other drugs, like marijuana, you could eat marijuana, you could smoke marijuana. I would imagine you could inject marijuana if you really wanted oh, to do it. Oh, boy. It's, uh... That's know. wild. I don't know Thank if anybody's you. ever done that, but I would imagine that you could do those things. They've liquefied it. They turn it into stuff that you can vape. You could take this thing in all these different ways. But you want to freebase Tylenol. I'm just wondering if you can't or if you could freebase anything, like all the things that you might take. Like maybe I need some Metamucil. Can I freebase <laughs> my Metamucil? I, I really think that it would <laughs> F up your lungs. If, I probably would, but would it still work is the question. That's, I don't know if that could be Free done. basers out there. Let us know, please. Uh, 1200 on Twitch says, if you can smoke a wrench, you can smoke a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I have a DMT vape, uh, vape pen, says Simply Jeremy. And Crazy Drunk Cat Lady says, they do have Tylenol as a suppository. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I, I, I'm just here to ask the questions, folks. <laughs> that's all I'm here for. Here's Maria. Good afternoon. Or Steve talking about Maria, I should say. <laughs> You're like, Maria's voice sounded a little deeper it's than me, it Maria. This is Steve. He's talking about Maria. Good afternoon, news junkies. Hey. I uh, just want to comment on Mariah Carey's uh, lawsuit and why it took so long for those guys to come out. Maybe they were scared. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'd be ridiculed and not believed and embarrassed. Okay. Maybe they're just afraid for their lives and their livelihoods. What's he talking about? Is he one of them? That's why it took so long. <gasps> is Mariah Carey an assassin or something you're afraid of? Is that Tony or one of the other uh, guy? Uh, Andy? No. Andy? No, we heard Tony and Andy earlier. He doesn't sound anything like them. Yeah, he sounded like a totally normal yeah. guy. Yeah, <laughs> sounded cool. You know, just, can you play that yeah. clip again? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right there. He's just doing it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to, uh, let's do one more. Here's Harley, not Carly. I'm going to go ahead and say no to the whole chip thing. And it chip may the brain. have to do with the fact that I watched too much Black Mirror, but. Man. Pass. About that, man. You know, Black Mirror is an interesting show for this reason. It's kind of got what the same. <laughs> That was Listen. Andy. That was Andy and Tony again. And it just climax? <laughs> yeah, he's, he got excited about being on the show. Yeah, he's scared yeah. for his life. <laughs> he's, he's upset about Mariah Carey. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, um, Black oh, no, Mirror. I forgot. Yeah, Black Mirror is an interesting show for this reason. Much like whenever something happens in the world, somebody goes, The Simpsons did it. On episode blah, 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 The Simpsons, they predicted that this would happen. Anything like that, sci fi? Always Black Mirror has been coming up. Anything like, oh, uh, they built a new robot that has chat GPT, and they're like, oh, that's an episode of Black Mirror. Right. I've seen that reference so much. Actually, I've heard it on this show reference so much with your dispatches. Anytime there's like a sci-fi thing going on. Do you think Black Mirror gets emails like, I heard that on the news junkie? Um, probably not. <laughs> Damn <laughs> I, know. I mean, I would love to think that was true. I would love that to be a thing, but I don't know. My confidence is pretty low. When we come back, we're going to get to a brand new way to do the death penalty on somebody. Uh, <laughs> brand, new death, say. brand new death penalty method, I should say, <laughs> uh, just dropped. And we'll talk about what they're going to start doing, at least in one state. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. So we no longer have our blue check mark. Actually, it was a white check mark surrounded by blue. Don't be that guy. Okay, okay. We're still at Real Radio 1041 on Twitter, powered by Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. I have a reported accident now at State Road 50 eastbound at Park Avenue, that right lane and shoulder block there. Also one at State Road 50 eastbound at Apopka Vineland Road, right lane blocked. We still have Old Lake Wilson Road northbound right around US 192, that center uh, lane blocked northbound. 
and one in Melbourne now, US 192 eastbound before St. John's Heritage Parkway. See traffic troubles? Call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Presented by Kentucky Fried Chicken, $6 two-piece drum and thigh combo. For just 6 bucks, you get two pieces of juicy chicken, creamy mashed potatoes, a warm flaky biscuit, and a medium ice cold drink. Prices and participation may vary. Taxes, tips, and fees extra. It's finger licking good. Stella Atois wants to know, who would you have dinner with? Join the Stella team at Hangry Bison in Winter Garden this Friday, November 3rd from 6 until 8 for an opportunity to let them know who you would have dinner with past, present, or future, and why. Then, start your dinner with a complimentary Stella Atois and Chalice. Just snap the QR code for details on your chance to win dinner on Stella from one of 10 participating restaurants. Let's do dinner, and as always, let's start with a Stella. Once you get the meat and cheese for your sub freshly sliced right in front of you at Jersey Mike's, I'll tell you, there's no going back to anything else. That'd be like going back to dial-up internet. <sighs> Am I connecting to space to order Jersey Mike's? Any day now. Okay, it's about to connect. What? Well, who picked up the phone? Nope. There's no going back once you see it freshly sliced at Jersey Mike's. A sub above. Thousands of stores across the country are pulling brand name cold and allergy products off the shelves. Why? Because an FDA advisory panel recently determined that a drug they contain, oral phenylephrine, is ineffective as a nasal decongestant. Navage offers a drug-free solution that's fast and highly effective at relieving nasal congestion caused by colds and allergies. Navage uses suction to pull saline in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out of the other nostril to help suck out allergens, mucus, and germs. Nasal irrigation works, and Navage makes it quick and easy, but more than anything, it helps you breathe better. Don't waste your time or money on products that are ineffective. Trust drug-free Navage for fast relief to help you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Ask for Navage at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, or find us online at Navage.com. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life iPhone 15 Pro on Verizon, iPhone 15 Pro on Verizon, and other gifts for the fam that they'll love this holiday. Trade in your old um, iPhone and um, get a brand new iPhone um, 15 Pro um, and Apple TV 4K um, and Apple One, all three of them. It's a great deal, don't sleep on it, offer and soon, once again, iPhone 15 Pro on Verizon, is this song stuck in your head? This holiday trade in any iPhone in any condition for the new iPhone 15 Pro with titanium, Apple TV 4K, and six months of Apple One, all on us with Unlimited Ultimate. Act now, visit Verizon.com. Six months of Apple One, then $10 per month. $999.99 device payment or full retail purchase with new smartphone line on unlimited ultimate plan required. Less $1,000 trade-in slash promo credit applied over 36 months. Promo credit ends if eligibility requirements are no longer met. 0% APR. Apple TV 4K and Apple One offers require eligible phone purchase with activation on unlimited ultimate. Additional terms and conditions apply. Visit verizon.com for details. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else. And we can give you access to those potential customers more cost effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeart Media can work for you. From your cell, dial pound 250 and say keyword great results. That's pound 250 and say great results. Whoa, what happened to my grocery store? <laughs> this is your grocery store. No, this is a... A farmer's market? Yes. Any grocery store is like a farmer's market when you shop fresh from Florida. Fresh from Florida brings the farmer's market to wherever you buy groceries. Look for our logo or ask for fresh from Florida. <laughs> my dad has a cold, <coughs> but also has high blood pressure. That's why I got him Vicks Dayquil High Blood Pressure for max strength daytime relief. Unlike some ordinary cold medicines, it's specially formulated for people like my dad. Dayquil High Blood Pressure is sugar-free, alcohol-free, and decongestant-free. Vicks Dayquil High Blood Pressure. The daytime, non-drowsy, coughing, aching, fever, sore throat, cold and flu for people with high blood pressure. Like my dad. Medicine. Use it directed. The check is good, the experience is smooth, and the reviews online are wonderful at GiveMeTheVin.com. They don't call us America's Best Car Buyer for nothing. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. In 
1800, Elma Sands is murdered, and her accused lover hires Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr as his defense. Through flashbacks and recreated testimony, Erased, the murder of Elma Sands, True Story Podcast, explores how this case impacted the sexist roots of today's justice system. Can we make this simpler? I don't need anything simplified, Mr. Hamilton. Thank you. Listen to Erased, the murder of Elma Sands on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Holiday magic. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, cash. C-A-S-H. That's cash. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may the odds be ever in your favor. They're best friends, unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? Israel-Palestine stuff sort of breaks some people. They just sink deep into arguments over this. They get really, really impassioned about this. Some of them get gobbled up into extremism. Uh, And the celebrities, you know, for the most part, they seem to be taking well. But Amy Schumer is having a rough time right now. I think Amy Schumer is not taking all of this very well. And She's been posting like crazy with all of her opinions. She has every right to have an opinion on this, you know, but she's posting it. And then people will get into an argument with her because it's Israel and Palestine. And that's just what happens. Uh, and when she, when they get into an argument with her, I've seen so many screenshots of people who started to get in DM arguments with Amy Schumer. Like, she would direct message them and be like, oh, how boy. dare you? You don't know what's going on over there. And they'd be like, you don't know what's going on over there. I'm like, oh, man, guys. I know this is bad, but, like, maybe sometimes I think people, they, they ignore when it's right in front of their face when you need to put your phone down for a little bit. And that's not to say anybody's right or wrong or anything like that. It's just sometimes you need to know when to put your phone down a little sure. bit. You're not going to solve this crisis by tweeting through it or posting on Instagram. You're not going to get yourself in a better mental health headspace by posting nonstop and responding to all these people. Just put the phone down just for a little bit. Completely understandable. And then I just think about, like, in her instance, and it's been a couple years, but Mm -hmm. she was, like, just the the poster child of any sort of trolls basement room like right and it was around the train wreck you know, time when the movie yep. came out but it was like reddit was obsessed with bashing her and then the paparazzi was following her all the time like i remember going to her show after all of that and she's like i, I give up man like it was exhausting i never yeah. intended for all of this and then you find yourself where years later, you're just probably ignoring stuff every single day, every minute of the day. And then at one point, you're just like, all yeah. right, that's it. I'm finally going to say something. I can't do it anymore. Right. And then she, it. she just explodes with all this stuff. And you're not going to win over if you have millions of followers. You're not going to post and they'll be like, damn, you're right. Israel is based. They definitely <laughs> should be doing this. Like, it, You just got to take whatever you think in your heart of hearts is the right thing and be comfortable with that. As long as you think you know enough about it, you go, all right, in my heart of hearts, here's what I believe is the right thing. But all, uh, posting through it, I think it just wrecks your brain, man. I think it's really bad for you. Uh, I've seen a couple of people doing that. There's the, the guy from the H3H3 podcast. Uh, he's been posting because he's, you know, uh, he's Jewish and spent some time living in Israel, met his wife in Israel. Ethan Klein's his name. And he's built up this fan base over the years. And the fan base is absolutely opposed to his viewpoints because he's uh, supporting Israel and his fan base that he's accumulated is not, they're not in support of it. And they're like free Palestine and all that. And so he's been going to war with his audience. That's exhausting, man. That's like your life is more valuable than to stress through that stuff. It does. I believe it. It does actual damage to you. Like, I think it actually does some damage to you when you get that swallowed up and everything.
Go outside. Enjoy the beautiful air. Touch oh, some grass. Touch the grass on this beautiful. It is a nice day today, right? I, mean, I don't know if the sun's out right now, but it's nice weather-wise we, where we are. Those of you up in Rochester, you might be angry hearing this. You might not be in the most beautiful of weather scenarios, uh, but it is beautiful. Just enjoy it. Get away from it and just breathe in the air a little bit. Uh, I want to talk about a new way to execute people in okay. the meantime. Cool. Talk, All right, talking they got a new about way. touching grass. Yep, they got a new way to do it here. So in Alabama, a divided Alabama Supreme Court said the state can execute an inmate with nitrogen gas, a method that has not previously been used to carry out a death sentence. They said in a six to two decision. Is that like the stuff that makes you laugh? Yeah, the nitrogen, yeah. So, uh, well, that's nitrous oxide, I guess, right? So nitrogen yes. would be like that, unless they're using nitrous oxide. It says the order did not specify the execution method, but the Alabama Attorney General indicated in findings that it would use nitrogen to put Smith to death. Uh, they don't know the exact date of this execution, but we got a new option now. They said Elizabeth's Senate was uh, has waited un- an unconscionable 35 years to see justice served. That's the person that he killed um, and her family has said they waited 35 years. Today, the Alabama Supreme Court cleared the way for Kenneth Eugene Smith to be executed by nitrogen hypoxia. And uh, they said this is what they're going to use. Under the proposed method, the inmate would be forced to breathe only nitrogen, pro- depriving them of oxygen needed to maintain body functions and causing them to die. And they said uh, it's harmless when it's inhaled with oxygen and actually a good time. But uh, <laughs> nitrogen on its own? <laughs> Not so good. It's not good for you. So there you go. There's a new way to uh, to do that. We're getting ready for Sabrina to head off to Ireland, a big trip to Ireland for a week, and yeah, uh, exploring gotta... the old I have Greenlands. No, like, what... Top of the morning, dear. Yeah, yeah that's what Irish. Else? They're after lucky La- charm. Last we heard from you, things were sounding a little rough. I just like I'm very confused on how this is all going to go down because I'm, because I'm flying through the night. And I get oh, really? there at okay. 8 o'clock in the morning. But and last then my mom told sent us, me a paragraph of directions I don't understand. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> exaggerating, I don't think, by saying you were supposed to land and then get on a train. And the train was going to take you to, like, a place where you take a car to another train. Like, there was a lot of connections that you had to make. And then she's the, like, or get a private driver. It's expensive. But uh, it might be easier. And I'm like, yeah, right now, based on what you just sent me, it absolutely is. Who yeah. do I I have to get the private driver ahead of time, I imagine. Wait, do they have Uber and stuff in Ireland? I would guess, yeah, right? Probably. It's called, like, something else. Oh, um, is it? Yeah, and then, like, there's an app attached to it. Um, oh, here, we, we just got another one. Savvy, the bus worked well for the twins. I'm not taking a damn bus. After the <laughs> Buses hours. are the worst. <laughs> Listen, uh, I did uh, I did some gigs over the weekend. I'll, one of them will pay for the for the driver. <laughs> they said uh, they do technically have Uber, but uh, they said they have regular taxis in um, in Ireland as well. And I don't see the other one you were talking about, but I guess there's another one. No, oh this this says no Ireland banned ride sharing. Said uh, could, free now. Yeah, that's what this says. You could book a taxi using the free now app. That's what they do. I'm gonna get uh, kidnapped, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know. It's a little dicey, but you'll be fine. Hey, I I, I got in a black cab in Paris, and I somehow survived. Uh, you were and, with somebody else, though. I was. It was with Courtney, and we, I'm we the perfect in. candidate for kidnapping. Uh, Ireland people don't seem like they would Irish people. I should call them no, Ireland, <laughs> Ireland people. Irish people don't seem like they would kidnap. You know, I think they seem like nice people. I think they seem fun. I think you're having I'm a good excited. time over there. Yeah, you should be. Are you doing that whiskey tour thing? Or you you didn't get that locked in? That's the plan. I mean, if, is it confirmed? Uh, mm-hmm. Did we get our passes yet? Not necessarily, but I have plenty of time to do it at the airport. I hope. Yeah. You still could do the rent a car thing. If you just rented a car from the airport, you could drive to wherever the location is that they're at. God, I mean, can I though? Like, yeah. Am I setting <laughs> well, myself up for an eight hour drive because I get lost? I don't know. Do they drive in the other lane in Ireland? They do. And on the other side of the car. That would be exciting too. How cool would that be? You've never done that before yeah. in your life. But I think I'd rather do it in like the landscape, the mountains, the more rural area, not in the city of Dublin. 
I mean, how exciting would it be if your plane lands, you get in a car, you're driving on the other side, you're on the other lane, you're in Ireland, you have no idea what's Head going on. on collision. Mm-hmm. And you're just, you're driving safely to your destination. That a would be fun. leprechaun starts chasing you. You drive faster. <laughs> you careen off a cliff into the ocean. I'm telling you, you want to pick up stories? That's how you pick up some stories. That would be beautiful. I'm sure that whole drive, at least I would expect so. And anyways, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got jury duty. We'll get you all caught up with what's happening in courtrooms around the country, including Sherry Papini, believe it or not, is back in the story. The woman that faked her own kidnapping. Speaking of kidnapping, she pretended that she got kidnapped. And now she's back in court again. Why? Wait till you hear the weird reason. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. You text us at 77031 and we say it on the air. Sometimes we might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by DraftKings Fantasy Sports. Week 9 of the NFL season will kick off tonight. It'll be Pittsburgh hosting Tennessee. It's a duel between young quarterbacks Kenny Pickett and Will Levis. The Magic are hoping to get back on track tonight. They'll visit Utah. Orlando has dropped back-to-back games after starting the year 2-0. And over to the ice tonight. The Lightning set to visit Columbus. The Bolts coming off their third OT loss of the season to Seattle on Monday. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. Let me tell you about that mortgage guy, Don. That mortgage guy, Don.com. And of course, the host of the Home Loans Radio Show. That mortgage guy, Don, is a mortgage broker. He's not a corner bank or a retail lender. And that means he has direct access to wholesale banks that are competing for your business. Now, wholesale banks only loan through mortgage brokers like that mortgage guy, Don. And that mortgage guy, Don, is the best because he made the process of getting a quote or comparing the quote you already have super easy. Now, we all know the process of shopping for a mortgage can be complicated and confusing, but not when it comes to that mortgage guy, Don. You get a better deal on any home loan when you work with the broker, but you also get the satisfaction of simplicity and honesty when you work with that mortgage guy, Don. If you want to see a difference, go to the website right now, thatmortgageguydon.com. Apply now and get a quote or get a free analysis of your existing quote. Plain and simple. No spam, no hassle, just peace of mind. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. People sometimes may wonder why they need a big law firm after their injury. Imagine you're on your way to work and then bam. Your whole life changes. You're injured, and now you have to fight for justice. Your opponent is not the driver of the car that hit you. It's their insurance company. When you're fighting to get what you deserve, it's go big or go home. When it comes to law, size matters. We're America's largest injury law firm, Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Police truck and cruiser with sirens, lights, wheelie action, and battering ram. Free shipping and batteries included. Only at HestoyTruck.com. Safe Touch offer modern options to secure your home or business with just a tap on your phone, watch, or tablet. Right now, buy one outdoor camera with 24-7 recording. Get one free. Visit SafeTouch.com. Safe Touch. Peace of mind with a purpose. State license number EF20001945. This is Scott Trout of Cordell and Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we have represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Set up a consultation and take the first step. Office in Orlando. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's attorneys. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia only. Online at CordellCordell.com. At Simply Safe, our award-winning home security has advanced sensors, HD cameras, and now this 24/7 live guard protection, only from Simply Safe. Monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Now get 50% off any new system with Fast Protect monitoring at simplysafe.com/radio. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. 
Why choose a Sleep Number smart bed? Because only the Sleep Number Climate 360 smart bed lets you each sleep up to 13 degrees cooler or warmer on either side. While you both sleep at your ideal level of firmness, comfort, and support, your Sleep Number setting. And now our all-new next-gen smart beds have temperature benefits, so you sleep better night after night. And now the new Queen Sleep Number C2 smart bed is only $8.99. Ends Monday. To learn more, visit one of our 11 Orlando Sleep Number stores or visit sleepnumber.com. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Rebath. You know, any company that has great products and great services does not need high-pressure sales pitches, and Rebath does that. No high-pressure sales tactics. You will never be in a must-buy-right-now situation with Rebath. And there's no pricing games either, like other companies that start super high then drop the price in half immediately if you buy today. It doesn't work like that with Rebath of Orlando. Still the only company that does full, complete bathroom remodeling top to bottom, and they do it right the first time. Always stay in tune with their website for brand-new designs. That's rebathmidfla.com. In all my years of endorsing this company, I've never had a complaint. And there's a reason the big box stores choose Rebath for their bathroom remodeling business. This is a national brand that stands behind what they say and what they do. Rebath of Mid-Florida's reputation is so good, their company's mimicking what they do and claiming to be with them. That's not true. Do your research and ask questions. Don't be fooled by imposters. Get with Rebath of Mid-Florida. Showroom 436 in Altamont, right across from Kobe. Hop online and check out the before and afters at rebathmidfla.com. At Target, your favorites are our favorites. And when you can save on your favorites too, uh, yes please. This week only, get 20% off select breakfast essentials. That's 20% off all bagged and K-cup coffee. Talk about essential. From brands like Good & Gather, Starbucks, and more. 20% off all cereal, like Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms, the list goes on. And 20% off Tropicana and Simply Orange Juice too. But these deals end Saturday, so it's time for a Target run. Restrictions apply. The iHeartRadio app and the NFL right in your pocket. The home of the NFL Podcast Network, covering all 32 NFL teams, plus all the expert advice to win your fantasy league. And, of course, live NFL games. Touchdown! Download the free iHeartRadio app today. Free never sounded so good. (laughs) My dad has a cold, but also has high blood pressure. That's why I got him Vicks DayQuil High Blood Pressure from Max Strength Daytime Relief. Unlike some ordinary cold medicines, it's specially formulated for people like my dad. Dayquil High Blood Pressure is sugar-free, alcohol-free, and decongestant-free. Vicks Dayquil High Blood Pressure. The daytime, non-drowsy, coughing, aching, fever, sore throat, cold and flu for people with high blood pressure. Like my dad. Medicine. Use it directed. Hi, I'm Kyle at Blindster.com. At Blindster, we offer over 50 different custom window treatments, including faux wood blinds and shutters, all at prices less than retail. Plus, we'll send you free samples before you buy. Don't hire an expensive pro. Do it yourself and say big at Blindster.com. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. There you can send us dispatches. You can also learn about secret shows, uncensored shows that you can subscribe to at thenewsjunkie.com. And I'd love you to do that. If you use the promo code one week, you get your first week free. And all you have to do is just visit the website. It's easy to follow over at thenewsjunkie.com. Thanks to all who do. Uh, We're going to go to your dispatches and jury duty in just a moment. But I wanted to talk about something real quick because this is crazy if this is actually happening right now. Uh, all right. I got to go back to set this up so you understand what's going on. All right. On uh, October 7th, there was this attack that started all this stuff in the Near East when Hamas on like these like paragliders or whatever, or what, hang gliders, yeah. whatever they were, they flew over the border. They uh, broke through some of the border fences They uh, kidnapped well over 200 Israeli citizens, and they killed about 1,600 or something. It was gruesome, vile, terrible, terrible behavior and the act of terrorists, right? So that's what started this back and forth. Now, I'm getting somewhere. Uh, After those people were killed and kidnapped, you started to see these posters appear in different cities like London, all over the world. People would put up these posters of the kidnapped uh, Israelis, and it says, like, you know, missing and it shows the picture of the person and it tells their story 
and they'll put these up all over the place. And it was kind of like a symbol, like, hey, don't forget about these people who were kidnapped by Hamas. And as they would put them up, people would tear them down. And it's like, you know, you see just how how uh, elevated the, the back and forth is mm-hmm. and how angry everybody is when they're ripping down photos of people who were kidnapped by Hamas. But the new development that I guess is happening in Miami is wild to me. Uh, I guess now they're putting up these uh, these kidnap posters where the people are you know missing the kidnap by Hamas, and they're putting razor blades behind them. Ooh. So oh God, when people tear the signs down, take a look at this in front of me. Uh, it was over on Instagram on Only in Dade, and they oh. show the poster. Look at this. Watch, watch. All right, this is somebody who's done it. Look. Oh my God. They're oh my bleeding God. all over the place. Because they put razor blades behind these Hamas kidnap posters. And when somebody tries to tear you, them lad? down. Uh, Isn't that a news website? I don't know. I, I, I didn't see that. Oh, on the razors themselves? Yeah. yeah. They're like very thin razors that they're putting behind God. these signs about the kidnapped Israelis. Uh, it says Lord, I think. And the person who posted it, their fingers are all bloody because clearly they were trying to rip it down. It's tough to watch. It's like, oh, my God. That's where we're at now. We got people putting up these signs, which seems fine by me. And I know there's more of an intention than just saying this person is kidnapped. It's you know, to draw people's attention to what Hamas did. But people tearing them down, that I don't understand nearly as much. But combating people tearing them down by putting razor blades in them so you actually hurt somebody like that and rip their fingers open, man. And and it's not even that somebody might be taking this down in a protest. What if that's up there for six months or something, and then the situation resolves itself, you know, God willing, in the Near East, and somebody goes from the city, and they go to try to tear it down, and they rip their fingers up and get all sliced on it. That's, oof, man. Uh, Kurt that says, wasn't in the uh, Halloween candy apples. No, no, it's in this. My God. Kurt says booby traps aren't legal. Damn, hopefully they're on camera. I guess that you could say it's a booby trap, right? That's what it is. The razors behind these missing posters Pretty scary stuff. Uh, All right, let's get into it. Here we go. I'm going to do it. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only, Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. 866-CALL-M-O-E. Or you can go to justcallmo.com. He is our friend and an amazing attorney that can help you out after an accident, after you get injured somewhere. All these other attorneys, you'll call them up and you never hear from the person who you hear on the radio or on television or on the billboards. And you'll hear from a bunch of salespeople, actually. You want to hear from an attorney that you can trust, and that's Moses DeWitt. 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. Uh, the Sherry Papini lady is in the news again. If you don't know the story on this, I'll roll that back, too. She was this California woman who went missing, and she said she was kidnapped. She had, like, very scant details. Like, some uh, Latino ladies had uh, a Latino ladies had kidnapped her in a van, and she only heard their voices, and they cut her hair, and they put a brand on her. And then she appeared on Thanksgiving Day alive, and they very quickly found out she faked her own kidnapping. Like, this woman didn't actually get kidnapped. What, uh, she's, what did it end up, though, that she was with, like, an ex-boyfriend or something, right? She was with an ex-boyfriend the entire time, right? Did he and ever get charged? I don't know, remember. Considering the nationwide hunt for yeah. uh, her? Yeah, because he, he's aiding and abetting a criminal. That's what, he, like, he definitely was committing a crime, I would guess, if he was helping her hide out while she was... Um, cause I think faking your kidnapping would be a crime, right? So if you're helping that person and he was helping like put the brands on her and, you know, God. she wanted him to hit her with, uh, she wanted, she wanted him to hit her with a hockey stick so that she looked like she got beat up. It's a weird choice. Yeah. It's all very, very strange. I would go with a mini bat. The yeah. insane thing is after all of that, there's all this speculation that she faked it and her husband stood by her. And he said, this is something terrible that's happened to my love wife. Love. How could you do this? I will stay with her. And they, it's even caught on video. The final moment where they call her into the police station and he's there with her. And they go, Sherry, just tell us what happened. And she goes, I already told you what happened. I got kidnapped by these two people. 
And Sherry, just tell us the truth. We know. And then they said, we talked to your ex-boyfriend. We know that you stayed with him the entire time. We know that you faked all of this. We know that you were never kidnapped. And they just dropped the hammer on her, right? Damn. And the husband, you could just see it hit him like a ton of bricks. And, and now they're going through a divorce, obviously, because he... Does not believe her any longer. I don't blame him. Yeah, he's, he's going to check out of this one. Uh, and they said that uh, they're going through the divorce process right now in a California courtroom. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to get to before we wrap things up today on this lovely Thursday before Sabrina <sighs> ships off to Ireland. Can't believe you have it. have an iPad? Are you taking an iPad with you? Um, so I have, I have an iPad. But I also, I assume that the plane has, you know, the TV in front. It should. I decided well, to do. Or if it doesn't, it should have like an uh, app or website or something that you can use. What are you flying? I'm flying Delta. And oh, okay. I did like, so I have um, a connecting flight. I go to Boston first tonight for two hours. Mm-hmm. Party it up. And then I have the big flight from Boston to Dublin. And I decided to do comfort. So I like a page a little bit more so I could. Oh, nice. Fly in so comfort. Now, I think. Business that class it, kind of thing? I think so. I, I, I'm i going to go like right before I board, maybe maybe a couple minutes more and just be like, you got any empty seats up there in the bigger seats? Yeah, and perhaps do it. I could uh, throw you guys a couple more dollars that are not in the thousands. Always, yeah. uh, always ask for the upgrade because they're they usually have something because they're so expensive, and then they'll give them to you for a crazy yeah. deal. Maybe someone that works for Delta is listening right now. Sabrina at RealRadio.fm. <laughs> yeah, I imagine you got access to some computer system where you could just like People. do a drop down next to her name and go. All right, first class. Now there you go. You're in. Boston, by the way, Boston to Dublin sounds like a, a cool flight. That's a cool so flight. It's right just like in Are the hit gonna... film, The Depad. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, so she's headed over there tomorrow. And uh, I don't know, maybe the show will be live. Maybe not. Who, who knows what's going to happen? Know. Maybe <laughs> we'll, we'll all be uh, yeah, Irish accents or something. <laughs> yeah, I got to <laughs> tune in and find out. Uh, but let's get to you. Lisa G has a tip for your trip here, Sabrina. Okay. <laughs> see what she says. John, Sabrina, Josh, Hello. happy Thursday, Friday, sorry, Sunday. Sabrina, with What's your up? trip, A, have fun, enjoy it. All right, good B, advice. B, order a driver because if you're flying overnight, depending on if you get sleep or not, you may be exhausted oh, by the yeah. time you get there. And you don't need to be dry, driving while you're exhausted. But um, here's the dog goes. Um, uh, when uh-huh. you take the overnight flight, if you can, take something, get some sleep, and then when you land, it'll be easier to get on their time. So I hope you have fun. Can't wait to hear all about it when you return. Um, Sean, Josh, have a great rest of your Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm-hmm. Monday, and wiggle, wiggle, pop, pop. Thank Thanks, you, Lisa, Lisa G. Appreciate you. Nice lady. I don't uh, see myself sleeping on that plane, unfortunately. I know. I wish that I could. I bet, like... Remember when we talked about <laughs> there was some airline that was going to make it so you could be knocked out for the entire flight? Count like, me in. <laughs> they would give you, like, <laughs> they do that the, in the fifth element. <laughs> like, the drugs you get at the dentist, they just put you out, and then they wake you. And I, if I'm out, I don't. you could throw me in the cargo hold for all I care. If I'm, if I'm out cold, just nudge me and wake me up when we get there. That's the only way I'm sleeping on a plane. Otherwise, too much, too much stress. Uh, here's somebody else with an absolute must do in Ireland. Sabrina, super stoked about your Ireland trip. Thanks, One dude. thing you absolutely must do when you're there is do the Ring of Kerry bus tour. Mm-hmm. It is absolutely amazing. Ring of Kerry? Uh, it's Paddy Wagon Tours, is the name of the company. Just Google um, Ring of Kerry bus tour. It is pro- probably the greatest experience of my life. Wow. Anyways, hope you have a great time. Us. And uh, I praise. Safe. All right, there we go. Some more. He sounds uh, like he smokes enough weed. (laughs) He does. Did he sound like a cartoon character? (laughs) Do we know Uh, what the deal is with weed in Ireland? I oh, you know what? I don't know. Hold on, let's see. Am I going uh, to jail forever? Is weed legal Ireland? Let's see how open (laughs) they are to this. Cannabis is illegal for recreational use in Ireland, nor can it be sold. Uh, However, despite the government's relatively tough stance on prosecuting offenders. They're surprisingly liberal regarding CBD and medical cannabis, both of which are legal. So they have that. Oh, let's see. Marijuana. Nice. This is the one you want to search. Marijuana, Ireland. 
a uh, jail sentence. Let's okay. <laughs> see what they say about that. It's a class B drug. The maximum penalty for possession of cannabis is five years imprisonment. And, What's the wife I like a, at Irish prisons? You, you have to have a lot because the guy who uh, is in the news story that I'm looking at, he got jailed for the full five years that you can, and he had like $300,000 worth of weed. So that's, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's quite a bit. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we're going to hear more from you. If you have any more suggestions for Sabrina while she's in uh, Ireland, I'm sure a lot of you have been there and might have some good ideas. And a brand new red light district has just surfaced. You could have some fun at this Ooh, one. What's a red light district like in uh, uh, Ireland? In, in Ireland? I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's probably one out there. We'll, we'll see what's happening with this one. It's coming up next on the news, Chunky. Your chance to win $1,000 and a little. Holiday magic. It's just minutes away. And brought to you by Mills Air. Accident with right lane blockage on State Road 436 southbound at University Boulevard, Florida Turnpike. Now northbound at the I-4 exit. The uh, left shoulder to the off-ramp is blocked, but not causing any major slowdowns there. Still working a crash in Winter Garden, State Road 50, eastbound. This is right around Park Avenue. See traffic troubles? Call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Wendy's. When you think of Wendy's Biggie Bag, think your go-to meal deal. Because with your choice of JBC or crispy chicken sandwich, plus four-piece snugs, junior fries, and a small soft drink, Biggie hits every time. So grab a Wendy's Biggie Bag today. U.S. price of participation may vary. Third-party delivery pricing may be higher. This year full of Real Radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Real Radio wants to provide you with a little holiday magic. Holiday magic. Holiday magic in the form of $1,000 13 times a day. Listen for the keyword to win $1,000 weekly from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Then take that keyword and enter it on our website, realradio.fm. Whether you do it on your phone or your computer, we don't care. What we do care about is that you enter your phone from a number that you most likely will not recognize when they call back the winner. Because that's how you get some. Holiday magic. This contest sponsored locally by Mills Air. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to millsair.com. At Simply Safe, our award-winning home security has advanced sensors, HD cameras, and now this 24/7 live guard protection. Only from Simply Safe, monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Now get 50% off any new system with Fast Protect monitoring at simplysafe.com/radio. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. This is Scott Trout of Cordell & Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we have represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Set up a consultation and take the first step. Office in Orlando. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell & Cordell's attorneys. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia only. Online at CordellCordell.com. The Chase Inc. Business Premier Card is made for people who make things happen, like me. I'm Sam, founder and CEO of Manifest, a product design company that makes everyday products design smarter. I get 2.5% cash back on purchases of $5,000 or more, plus unlimited 2% cash back on all other purchases, which helps us make more smart ideas into a brilliant reality. The Inc. Business Premier Card. Learn more at chase.com forward slash business premier. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Real business owner compensated for their participation. Account subject to credit approval. Restrictions on limitations apply. Cards are issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. Any member of FDIC. You earned it. Get it early. With a Fairwinds checking account, you can get your direct deposit up to two days in advance. No more waiting for payday. And we make it easy for you to send and receive money from friends and family. Open a checking account today at Fairwinds Credit Union and reach your financial goals. Fairwinds is federally insured by the NCUA. 
It's hot. We all know that. Have you noticed your power bill is skyrocketing? The current cost of energy is the highest it's ever been, and it's probably going to just keep getting higher. Solar Source can change that for you. I recently took the plunge with Solar Source with my pool heater, and man, it's been a game changer. I love working with Solar Source. Solar Source has nearly 40 years in the business. They bring the power of the sun to over 6,000 Central Florida homes since 1984. Mine and my mom's and my sister's included. Solar Source makes it easy with a free estimate. Monster listeners, they have an online tool that lets you get your own solar estimate in just 30 seconds. No pressure, no salesman, just the facts. You can harness your own power and stop wasting thousands of dollars every year renting your electricity at higher and higher prices. Visit solarsource.com slash monsters and see how easy it is to get your instant hassle-free quote. Solar Source, the most trusted name in solar. Solarsource.com slash monsters. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away four days in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico with hotel and airfare included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to text MUSIC to 96551. It's only for the first 50 listeners to text MUSIC to 96551. They give you up to a year and a half to travel, but you must be one of the first 50 to text MUSIC to 96551. Grab your phone and text the word MUSIC to 96551 for your chance to get four days in Puerto Rico. Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico, with hotel and airfare included for only $99. That's music to 96551. You heard right. Be one of the first 50 listeners to text music to 96551 and get four days in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico, with hotel and airfare included for only $99. But you must be one of the first 50 listeners to text music to 96551. Text the word music to 96551 for your chance to go on vacation to Puerto Rico, Jamaica, or Mexico. Mil Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Preventive maintenance on all brands, and that saves you money and can detect an upcoming breakdown. Visit MillsAir.com. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take Zequil. Zequil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non-habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with Zequil Nights. Explore our products at Zequil.com. Use is directed. Keep out of reach of children. <laughs> My dad has a cold, but also has high blood pressure. That's why I got him Vic Stayquil High Blood Pressure for max strength daytime relief. Unlike some ordinary cold medicines, it's specially formulated for people like my dad. Dayquil High Blood Pressure is sugar-free, alcohol-free, and decongestant-free. Vicks Dayquil High Blood Pressure. The daytime, non-drowsy, coughing, aching, fever, sore throat, cold and flu for people with high blood pressure. Like my dad. Medicine. Use it directed. Ford, Chevy, Ram, GMC, Nations Trucks has got them all. And with approved credit, you're not making any payments until 2024. Do yourself a favor. Visit nationstrucks.com and check out their amazing inventory right now. Or see them in Sanford and start driving the truck that you deserve today. Get in the spirit with 50% off everything for a limited time during the holiday preview event. Now through November 13th at Banana Republic Factory. From merino wool sweaters to luxe outerwear, explore our favorite styles to give and to get. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Haunted Hay Magic! Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Bank. B-A-N-K. That's bank. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Three best friends diving into the deep end of internet culture.
I'll tell you what's going on with this in just a second. Plus, something that just made me feel so old. It's uh, not even funny, actually. But, uh, Sabrina, we heard from somebody on chat during the break, and they have some fairly bad news to drop about Ireland. Oh, okay. Uh, they, they said in Ireland, a pack of smokes is like $17, oh, which is like, oh, oh my boy. God. All right. So how does this work, though? Like, uh, I can buy cigarettes once I go through security. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right? Duty free? Yeah. I think, yes. I think they might have them there. But am I you allowed can... to bring anything with me? The thing that I looked at, let me see if I can bring it up again, because uh, I just Googled, can I bring cigarettes to Ireland? It says you could bring 100 cigarettes. When you're traveling oh, to okay. Ireland, like total or packs? Uh, it just says a hundred cigarettes. So, so I would imagine in a that's pack? Five yeah, packs? yeah. That's I imagine fine. that would say you could bring five packs of cigarettes. Uh, oldie. Rather than paying like a hundred bucks for those, which is a little pricey. Now here's yeah. some good news I received. Also, mm -hmm. is um, apparently booze is free on international flights. What so, is that true? Yeah, brother. As Man, as far as Delta goes, I'm like, wait, I'm not in first class, and he's like, no, for everybody. So, <laughs> the, game the type of beer they had when I came back from London is called, I think it was called Ass Beer was the name of the beer that uh, they had. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? I'd never heard of it before. And that was one of the only options they had on the flight. It was called, I, I swear to God, it was called Ass Beer. At least if I'm getting something wrong here. But I remember drinking this back, uh, drinking it on the way back. No, it's called Ass Beer. That's what it is. A-S-S. Yeah, no, it's A-A-S-S. -S. Ass beer. Ass it's beer. Ass fatol. It's, okay, it's the name dude. Of the beer. That's it. That's what it says here. That was the the kind of beer that they served on the flight, and I was like, I never heard of this before. Officer pulls you over. What have you been drinking tonight? Ass. <laughs> I've been drinking a bunch of ass fatol. Fist bump. And uh, so uh, you might see that. You might stumble into that on your way out there. Uh, there is some stories floating around today about how Green Day has just announced their tour with the smashing pumpkins oh that's fun uh, they're gonna be doing a big concert tour called the saviors tour and what got me about this was they're celebrating 30 years of the album dookie and 20 years of american idiot and it's like these guys have been playing together for even before that like they were in bands in the berkeley area for a while before they were in green day together and they must go back for for so long. And I think I'm right on this. Green Day is one of the very few bands. Those are all the original members of the band that are in it still, I right? I think that's correct. The huh. drummer is the Trey Cool guy. The bassist is Mike Dern, I think. And then the lead singer is, what's his name? Um, Billy, Billy Joe. Billy Joe Armstrong. Joe. Yeah. The three of them have been playing together for all, like 30 plus years. That makes me and feel still so get along. old. I guess so. Or they uh, are able to stomach through it for the money. But I wouldn't imagine they need the money anymore, right? I mean, uh, no. I, everybody who called them sellouts and who said Green Day sold out, you're on the radio now, they made the right decision. This is this is the way to live life, I think. This is how you do it. And all those guys still touring. They're going to be with the Smashing Pumpkins celebrating 30 years of Dookie and American Idiot. Pretty Dookie. damn astonishing. <laughs> Uh, that album cover is kind of iconic now. And I remember when that came out. Oh, my God, that makes me feel old. Because I was right at that age. You know, I was like uh, just a, almost a teenager when that album came out. And uh, I remember it very, very, uh, very, very vividly, I should say. Uh, I had that, and I went to the concert when they played at the West Palm Beach Auditorium. That was the name of the place at the time. Then the West Palm Beach Auditorium went from a cool place to go see concerts to the Mormons bought it and they would have like a Mormon church there every oh, week boo. and they filled the whole, the, the whole arena for a church thing with these Mormons that they did. Is There's Mormon a mass fun? I don't know. I've never been to a mass. that was fun. So they don't even allow themselves caffeine. So no, I doubt oh, it's God. fun. God, why put all these restrictions on yourself? This is like the single dumbest thing out there. I'm sorry if this offends somebody too bad. You're going to take some strays on this. Well, they don't listen the, to the show. Mormons. The single, they don't No, No, the people who I'm going to attack here for a second, they definitely don't listen to the show. The single most insane thing to do to yourself is to grow up Amish. There's no need for it. We, you don't need to do it. 
You don't have to grow up and like punish yourself by not having all the latest and greatest technology. Mm -hmm. iPhones are great. Go Ooh. to Rumspringa and never look back. <laughs> That's right. Get out of there and then just continue on with a normal life with iPhones. It's better. Trust me. Uh, That's right. the only thing we have that they don't have. <laughs> Let's talk about this red light district. It's in New York City. Oh, yeah. And they said a bunch of Venezuelan migrants have made their hey. way into New York hey, City. Familia. And many of them are working as prostitutes in Queens, and they walk the streets during the day. And they said it's the highest concentration of sex workers for hire in New York City. So there's like a lot of these women who are just kind of out there on the streets soliciting for some sex. Hola. Uh, says when asked about reporter or by reporters about the open air sex market, Adam said the situation has been brought to his attention and he's visited the area himself, which is almost uh, a part of mm, New York. Self report. It it's in Queens because Corona Queens is where the red light district is. But it's very uh, clear, like in that area of Queens. Oh yeah, you have, you've reached the spot. It was awkward because in the story that I read, they wanted to show you with pictures that there were a lot of prostitutes out on the streets, but. They obviously weren't going to just show you their faces, so they had to, like, blur out all of the prostitutes that were in these photographs. But you could see that there was quite a few of them. They said, this is what happens when you create an atmosphere that people can't provide for themselves and have to turn to illegal activities to do so. When I talk about the spiraling impact of how this is going to affect our city, this is what I'm talking about, says Adams in New York. So there they go. Hopefully they're being safe out there. Here's Pope Man joining us on the show. He's talking about the kidnapped woman. That's Sherry Papini, that lady. Yeah, you were talking about that woman that got kidnapped. There was a Black Mirror episode just like that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's go over to Bruise Traveler. Hey, guys. Random community reference, and that is uh, you were talking about uh, – Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. If you ever watched the episode of Nosedive uh, from them, that's the one with Bryce Dallas Howard where she gets uh, downvoted, you know, so many times that it basically ruins her life. Uh, the episode of Community uh, did that one a while back before mm -hmm. it, and it was a similar kind of thing where app developers came to the con or to the uh, college, convinced them all to use it and uh, rate each other with a thing called Meow Meow Beans. Of oh, course, yeah, and, Meow Meow uh, Beans. Love yeah, them. similar kind of sh shenanigans, but with a whole school. So just thought I'd throw a random community reference out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good show. I'm kind show. of regretting this dispatch now. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's already out there now. Can't take it back. Uh, there is such a hilarious situation going on in Congress right now because uh, George Santos. Wait, with Ginger Gooch? Not Ginger Gooch. She, she's in the judicial branch. She's doing her thing over there, the Judge Ginger Gooch. But George Santos is maybe my favorite politician, uh, maybe of all time, because wow, he just praise. lies about absolutely everything and big lies. You know, stands like, by it though. Yeah, stands by it. Like he he says, uh, I think he said his mother was in the Holocaust. That turned out that wasn't true. I mean, I wish I had a list of George Santos's lies. It's a long list at this point, but. They were Republicans were like, we got to get rid of this guy. All right. He's no good. He's causing us a lot of problems. He looks really bad. And they put it up for a vote. And George Santos didn't get expelled as a congressional representative because the Democrats voted for him to stay. And so they were able to save him. Why? And it says <laughs> dozens of House Democrats sent shockwaves through Congress this week by voting uh, against banning George Santos They're from like, Congress. There's something about this guy. I don't know. Uh, they were like, we Keep like him. him. Around. <laughs> we like this guy because he makes the other guys look dumb. The Democrats expressed concerns about the precedent of expelling a colleague who has not been criminally convicted or subject to a complete ethics committee process. Even one as hated as Santos. Santos faces two federal indictments and a likely re-election loss if he manages to stay in Congress through 2024. Nobody's going to beat this man. He's the best of the best. Uh, they said the resolution would have failed even if all Democrats had voted for it. Just 24 Republicans voted for it. So I guess it was destined to fail no matter what. And uh, he's still there. He's hanging on just by a thread. But there he is. Uh, let's work in maybe one more dispatch. We got to talk to right here. Funny name is talking about 
whether or not you should get a chip in your brain or your body. Hey, guys, good afternoon, morning, hey. whatever it is. All that. Um, <clears throat> as far as putting chips in my body, I'm all for it. Fix all my ailments, please. And while you're at it, get like a nanobot that lives off of like fat cells and then just inject those bastards all in me and let them go to town. All right, he wants everything. <laughs> just load them up with it. You know what I want? I don't know if there's a way to avoid this. But let's say, and this is far-fetched, let's say I live to a ripe old age. I get into my, like, 80s or something, you know, maybe 90 years Congrats. old. Congrats. I make yeah. it that far. This is a real fictitious... Um, uh, fantasy this is world? A, uh, well, it is a fantasy world, yes. We could go with that. It's a very, very, uh, very much a fantasy world if I'm making it that long. But if I did, I keep having nightmares, and I hate this. It's been really bothering me, where I have old people skin okay. and I... Like touching stuff, like I just touch the wall and a piece of my skin rips off, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. God. and I start it's bleeding. Very uh, easily bruising, and yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a. Nice. Is there a way to prevent that? Can I take you some kind have of been drug? Moisturizing a long time ago, dude. Oh, I haven't even moisturized once. I didn't even start. You don't like, moisturize even... daily? No, I have. I have like some stuff that I do now. I have like a cream that I use and a moisturizer. I I don't know what it is. Honestly, For a rash. I, it, it might be. I have no idea. <laughs> Courtney's just like use this. I'm helpless with this stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, but I really don't want that to happen because this, yeah. this nightmare that's reoccurring is so scary to me, and I hate it. The skin, Ugh. like I don't know. The fingers are the one for me, like mm -hmm. my equivalent to the old people's skin. It's the old people's hands for me. Yeah. Where it's like they're not even moving anymore. Right. And then yeah. you're going to have like the like... most beautiful work done on your face. But then you look down on the hands and they're like the knuckles have fused. Then we have a lot of the like fingers that are bubbling up at the top. Yeah, I'm seeing yeah. some of this on The Golden Bachelor. I yeah, honestly yeah. am. I'm seeing some of you look no at it and you go. No offense to our older listeners. It's just like, no, we're No, scared. not at all. I, I, I'm so clueless about this stuff, admittedly, right? But watching the show, I was like, wow, that lady looks really young still. And that lady looks really young. And I don't know as much about this as Cordy does because she'll be like, that lady's obviously had a facelift. Like, that lady obviously gets Botox done. Like, And I go, I, I don't know about any of that. I just thought she looked young. Maybe she was blessed with good genes or something. But she said multiple of those women have probably had a facelift, but you can't get around that hand thing. When your hands start curling up like mm -hmm. a little, mm -hmm. little goblin, a different well, kind of goblin. We're back to goblins. Not that, not that kind of goblin. I'm not killing the old people. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll get back with some of your dispatches. And a company is now shutting down. They're throwing in the towel. Why? Aww. Well, we all should have seen this coming, and it's coming up next on the News Junkie. So until they ban it, you can still find us here at Real Radio 1041 on TikTok. Powered by Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Just checked on that uh, minor crash on the turnpike northbound at the I 4 exit. Have a couple of vehicles still blocking the shoulder on the off ramp there. John Young Parkway now at Millennia Boulevard. Accident with FHP on the scene. And also right lane blocked State Road 50 eastbound at Apopka Vineland Road. See traffic troubles, call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866 676 8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Need an oil change? Need it fast? Drive into any Central Florida area Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where our certified technicians are happy to help you get back on the road in no time. Never leave your car and no appointment needed. For money-saving coupons, go to VIOC.com. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-374-2103. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. 
I got the amount I owed down to just 3500 I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-374-2103 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. October is Sudden Cardiac Arrest Month. Sudden Cardiac Arrest is the leading cause of death in the U.S. with survival rate about 10% percent or less. Russ Rollins here. In honor of Sudden Cardiac Arrest Month, I'm setting a personal goal. I want to send a thousand monster listeners for a free heart scan with a minimum requirement valued at $699. I want you guys all to be safe and healthy, and I want my listeners to get in and get this scan. I did it, and I got to tell you, I'm so glad that I did. You have an opportunity to get a heart scan and a full body scan for cancer. What is Life Imaging FLA? Well, FDA approved, state-of-the-art, low-dose radiation radiation CT scan. Early detection saves lives. You know, 30 to 40% of heart attacks, the first symptom is sudden death. Man, wouldn't you rather know today instead of worry about tomorrow? While you're there, ask about their cancer screening. It's better to know now than to wait till it's too late. Call Life Imaging FLA for your free heart scan with a few minimum requirements valued at $699 now. From your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan. That's pound 250, say the the words free heart scan and you'll be connected in seconds orlando's newest entertainment destination is now open primrose lanes welcomes you to our restaurant and bowling club visit primroselanes.com to reserve your lane and join us for happy hour every weekday at 4 p.m for half off cocktails Texting privacy policy in terms of conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message data rates may apply. Reply stop, stop, stop. Binges, blackouts, regret, shame, trying and failing to drink less or quit. Hi, I'm Jonathan, founder of War Health. I know how scary drinking too much can be because I struggled with alcohol misuse for most of my adult life. But I also know that it is possible to drink less or quit. And medication can help. Now, Trexone is a safe, effective medication that makes it easier to cut back or quit drinking so you don't have to rely on willpower alone. I started War Health to make access to Naltrexone convenient and private to help people like me regain control over alcohol. If you're ready to stop drinking or just drink less, text FINALLY to 3230. To get a secure link to Or Health's private online assessment, our licensed medical professionals will evaluate your assessment, and if medication is right for you, prescribe it online. We'll deliver your prescription right to your door. No doctor's office visits required. Text the word FINALLY to 323232 to get started today. That's FINALLY to 323232. At Simply Safe, our award-winning home security has advanced sensors, HD cameras, and now this 24/7 live guard protection. Only from Simply Safe, monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Now get 50% off any new system with Fast Protect monitoring at simplysafe.com/radio. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Florida's farmers work hard to grow nutritious food for you and your family, and you can help support them by enjoying delicious, fresh-from-Florida produce. Look for the sunny, fresh-from-Florida logo where you shop, or visit freshfromflorida.com to learn more. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. O'Reilly Auto Parts' new Brake Best Select Pro brand raises the bar for the best aftermarket domestic brake pads and rotors available. For vehicle-specific friction formulations, quiet tech noise-canceling shims, and stainless steel hardware, choose Brake Best Select Pro. Professional-grade brakes from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. In 1800, Elma Sands is murdered, and her accused lover hires Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr as his defense. Through flashbacks and recreated testimony, Erased, the murder of Elma Sands, True Story podcast, explores how this case impacted the sexist roots of today's justice system. Can we make this simpler? I don't need anything simplified, Mr. Hamilton. Thank you. Listen to Erased, the murder of Elma Sands on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. No payments until February of next year? Visit nationstrucks.com right now. 
Holiday magic. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Bank. B-A-N-K. That's bank. Enter it now at realradio.fm and get a little holiday magic. And may the odds be ever in your favor. The game of magnets. Taking over the world one terrible person at a time. Talking about this video that's very viral at the moment. Perhaps you've seen this, maybe you haven't, I don't know. But this is a video making the rounds. You probably Facebook. will see. Instagram, uh, Twitter, y'all see this? Sabrina and Josh, have you guys seen the ladies who are stealing all the Halloween candy on the <laughs> doorbell video? I, I saw the headline. I have yet to see the actual video. Yeah, but uh, they're certainly getting a lot of heat for it. Yeah, the moms, I, right? And when I saw this, I was like, okay, trashy. Like, obviously very trashy. And it, I had to remind myself that we just had Halloween, and on my front doorbell camera, all of the kids and all of the parents were, like, really good about it. Took a little bit. Uh, one of the uh, kids, I think Courtney said, um, grabbed a handful, and somebody's like, nope, that's too much. Put some back, you know? And they're, like, <laughs> following all the rules. I was half but and half, man, with my trick-or-treaters. There were some, some that were like extremely handfuls. well mannered. Uh, they only grabbed like one piece of candy. I'm like, no, you can you can grab two or three, and they said thank you and please and all that. And then there was that little brat dressed as Taylor Swift, and she like <laughs> literally grabbed two handfuls, and she's like, we're kids, what are we supposed to do? And I'm like, I will call the cops on you. I love that excuse because you can use that for anything. <laughs> Be like we're good, we're just kids. What are we supposed to I'm do? I'm just here? a little baby. Uh, so. <laughs> In the video, I think this is it here. Okay. They, they come up to a house, and there's a big old, like, pot of candy out there. All kinds of candy out in front of this house. And the moms just go for it. They grab all of it. And they empty out of the bowl. And somebody else comes over. Like, they're all just taking all of the candy all That's at so once. messed up. Which is super rude. But somebody responded to this, and they said... That's a felony, what they're doing. What? And How is that a felony? There's no way that if you have somebody on a doorbell video and you put out candy in front of your door and they take more candy than you expected them to, that that's a crime. <laughs> There's no way. I don't think it passes the uh, the monetary value to make it a felony. I, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't think it would. And put I also on the would... list, though, because I would love to see his face when you ask him that <laughs> question. I would... I would guess that because you're opening it up, uh, opening it up to say like you guys can take this, you know, you don't even maybe have a sign out there that says how much to take. That means it's up for grabs and they take more than you want them to, but they didn't really commit a crime. That's what I would guess. But there was people, no, this is a felony. They're going to go to jail. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> Are the candy stealing mamas going to go to jail? <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but maybe who knows? Nothing would surprise me these days. There is a company that is calling it quits. They are going to be shutting down. I can't believe it didn't work. WeWork is filing for oh, bankruptcy. No. So as early as next week. I always thought this was a dumb idea. Wait, wasn't the thought... main guy, like, nuts? Yeah. Um, Adam uh, Newman? Or is that might be wrong. Adam something was the founder of WeWork. And he ran his company like a cult. And they would do these big concerts each year, and they would... Adam Newman. Adam Newman, all right. That's the guy who started this. And there's they either did a movie or a docuseries about WeWork, and it was a weird place to work where everybody was, like, in on the cults. And the idea, if you don't know, if you've never heard of WeWork, is, like, a shared office space. So there's a big office and you know, smaller offices within it, like, you know, rooms within the office, and you can rent a, a piece of it out. So you can collaborate with other people, interact with other people. You're not just by yourself or whatever. 
Uh, and that did not do well. In fact, it was once valued at $47 billion and yeah. it's not anymore. I think that was a hot concept like right before COVID hit mm -hmm. and then no one went to an office. Yeah, it was bad timing. Yeah. Real bad timing on their part. But uh, WeWork is filing for bankruptcy chapter 11 uh, in New Jersey. We don't work. It's not working out for them, and we want to hear from you. So let's do that. Let's tap into you for just a moment. Uh, there's a bunch of people saying that you can just ask for a seat right up front on the plane, Sabrina. I don't know like, oh, okay. <laughs> can I have that? I don't, I don't think you seat? go. You've got to be like the Taylor Swift girl. I don't think that you <laughs> go up to the counter at the airport and you go, I want to sit in the front. I think you just no, say. I ask. I have to say, can I please yeah. sit in the front? Thank you. Can I Give upgrade? Yeah. Like, oh, I, you don't say sit in the front. That would be weird. It doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, all right. We're going to get to these dispatches in just a moment, hey, actually. Hey, what a tease. I'm sorry. I uh, will do this one. Here is Sin Solution talking about the movies. Hey, junkies. How's it going? Hey. I got a great idea for the randomized movie list for AMC when they do their discounts. Do a rush roulette of Nicolas Cage films. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I would I would pay for that. Yeah, I wouldn't hate that so much. I haven't seen too many Nicolas Cage movies that I do not like, uh, uh, other than what was the one where he was trying to find the Constitution? Oh, uh, National Treasure. <laughs> National Treasure? I don't know if that was my favorite. Uh, some of them really good. Like, I thought Pig was a good movie. I thought it was genuinely like a, not just like, oh, that's good for Nicolas Cage. I thought it was genuinely a very, very good movie. Uh, and a lot of people slept on that one, so... If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. Plus, Butt Boy, the one that uh, I've recommended previously, legendary film. Uh, there is <laughs> legendary, a social, such a loose word. <laughs> social media platform that is now putting up record numbers, more popular than it's ever been. Help me figure out why. Okay. They said, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, it's a surge in users for Pinterest, and people really? are on the platform again. <sighs> I kind of thought that one had died down. I thought that was mainly like moms are on there. Yeah, there's a lot of them, though, because they said in the third quarter, Pinterest had 482 million users they on its app. Changed how it works? I, mean, I don't I've, know. I've used it in the past for like ideas. I mean, it's a board that you pin stuff on. Yeah. It is, is good there for more that. of a social media aspect to it? I don't know if it's changed at all, but they said it's Gen Z users who are joining. It's the fastest growing, most engaged users they have on the platform. They said their monthly viewers grew 7% for every quarter in 2023. And they said they're seeing a strong product market fit, excuse well, me, bless you. with the recent cohorts. You they hate are, strong products. It makes me they are, They're saving two times more content in their first year on Pinterest compared to older people. Gen Z makes up 42% of all the users now on the Pinterest platform. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to see what it is that really kicked this off and made people want to go back yeah, to why it. Why are you young people on Pinterest? What's going on over there? Uh, they have a shop the look feature, which allows users to receive advertisements for lifestyle products that match the vibe of their Pinterest boards, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's uh, driving them over, but they are getting a whole bunch of younger users who are joining the service, making it as popular as it's ever been. When we come back, friends, the final dispatches, the stories that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap everything up for a Thursday. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Check out our new threads at Real Radio 1041 on Threads. Powered by Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Rude Air Conditioning Weather Center. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. <laughs> I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro with a look at your Central Florida forecast. You can expect a mix of sun and clouds today. Forecast highs reaching the mid-70s. Going to be a nice afternoon. Breezy winds out of the northeast at 15 to 20 plus miles per hour. As we head into the overnight hours tonight, you can expect those lows to dip into the low 60s with warming temperatures as we head into the weekend. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro. This report is sponsored by Mattress Warehouse of Kissimmee. Save up to 70% at Mattress Warehouse today and sleep better tonight, knowing you got the best possible price. So where would you look to find the perfect mattress? In a little mattress store or mattress warehouse? Visit mattresswarehouse.com. 
Maybe you've heard about semaglutide, the new FDA-approved drug helping people lose weight like crazy without strict dieting. But here's what you might not know. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specially formulated to give you full-strength semaglutide without side effects. So with Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month without stomach pain or nausea. And it's not a shot. It's a tablet. So you can skip the weekly trips to the doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications. That's right. I said half the price. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, no side effects, just results. And for half the price, trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Just go to redmountainweightloss.com. That's redmountainweightloss.com. Burden of Guilt, a brand new true crime podcast that tells the harrowing story of Tracy Raquel Burns, a woman who spent four decades at the center of one of the most bizarre and disturbing cases in American history. Was she responsible for the mysterious death of her baby brother? I was told that Matthew died in an accident, and no one really talked about it. Really tough family dynamics fueled much of what happened in this case. Listen to Burden of Guilt on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. In this week's Marketers Report, we hear about the importance of local radio from Allison Griffin, head of marketing at State Farm. iHeart has such a broad broadcast reach that is local and for us to be able to touch customers with a local feel but at a national scale is so efficient and important for us. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, trusted influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else, and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost effectively across radio, digital, podcasting and social we'd love to show you how iheart media can work for you get started today at iheartadvertising.com that's iheartadvertising.com listen up this is so easy do you want the most money for your used car do you want a hassle-free process of course you do give me the vin is a plus rated by the bbb that's better business bureau baby and thousands of online reviews give me the vin will beat your written carmax offer or write you a check for a hundred bucks it's that simple get the most money for your used car right now at give me the vin.com america's best car buyer sell us your car give me the vin.com so easy you can do it in your People sometimes may wonder why they need a big law firm after their injury. Name one small insurance company. Couldn't think of one, could you? Didn't think so. Most insurance companies are big, really big. They have thousands of lawyers. Imagine, it's a beautiful day. Sun is shining, birds singing. You're on your way to work, and then bam, your whole life changes in that second. Forever. You're injured, and now you have to fight for justice or live your life in pain. Let me give you some straight talk. Your opponent is not the driver of the car that hit you. It's their insurance company. When you're fighting to get what you deserve, it's go big or go home. We are big for a reason, which is why we've recovered over $9 billion for our clients. Over $1 billion in one case alone. When it comes to law, size matters. We're America's largest injury law firm, Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. I like to cook on the Big Green Egg. Why? It's impressive and everything turns out great on the Big Green Egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wassie's Meat Market and get a Big Green Egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories. They even have a classroom set up to teach you all the basic techniques on the Big Green Egg and advanced techniques. When you get the Big Green Egg from Wassie's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee. So it's Wassie's Meat Market. Check them out on Instagram or just go to their website, wassiesmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's wassiesmeatmarket.com. If you like using debit over credit, shouldn't you also get rewarded? Well, now you can with Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases with no fees, period. Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. Call today, cool today. Visit cooltoday.com. Radio. 104.1. 
Join in on the chaos. We eagerly await your dispatch. This is... And today we're going to wrap everything up for a Thursday. Our friend C Lane on paternity leave. And thankfully, we've been able to have Josh in for the, the last uh, bit here. Who did? You've done a great job, Josh. And Josh yeah, is going to be with, bud. Me, uh, was gonna Thanks, be with me next week as uh, Sabrina's in Ireland. As C Lane will be returning next week from paternity leave at some point. Not sure exactly when that is. I think. I think like Thursday or something, he's supposed to be coming back. What happens? He leaves the baby in the car or something? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the weather's getting I, cooler for it. I'm also wondering, like, do you think next time we run into him and hang out with him, he's going to be like seem like a changed person next <sighs> time we see him? A little part of thinks that. I mean, yeah. I, I've been meaning to reach out to him, but then I just like right before I'm about to text him, I'm like, am I allowed to do this? They've shut off all his communication. But, uh, and plus, I also am kind of going, like, let him spend some time with... I don't want to, like, interrupt, you know? Well, he reached out to me. Uh-huh. He sent me a picture of baby boy in yeah. my onesie gift. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yes, the, uh, it was breaking hearts and blasting farts. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, he's like, the kid's just sleeping all the time. He's just sleeping. He said, one time, his son, he looks over and he hasn't moved in so long. He went over and had to poke him, make sure he was still okay over there. I do that all the time with my animals. I'm like, yeah. Luna? Carl, are you Luna? okay? What's going on over there? Uh, I saw this story and I was like, you know, I don't know much about the world of video games. You could pile up the things I don't know about, uh, stack those on all top right, of we've sports. Got investing, investing, sports, sports, sports video, video games. Video games. Those are the look, three big verticals. We do know that you know everything about Kentwood, Louisiana, and <laughs> John Key. Yep. Big on those two things. At least now my stocks are rising on those. But the story said Sega, like Sega Genesis, Sega, like the video game company. Yeah, 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 Sega yeah. says its first super game is on track to be released by March 2026. Oh. And it said the Ooh. budget for this super game, which I don't even know what a super game means. I've never heard that. The budget for the super game is expected to be over $800 million. To make this game, that's an insane amount of money. Like, that's a very, very big budget for a video game. I don't know what the average video game costs to make. I know it's not cheap, but they they make a lot of money off of those games. Yeah. What's the big one now? Like, what's the biggest game going at the moment? Uh, Starfield Mm -hmm. and... That's the one you play, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. and then Cyberpunk 2077 got a big overhaul that's made it popular. Okay. Okay. I no see idea. people uh, playing both of those. What, well, you play uh, Fortnite still, don't you? Uh, I mean, it's been a, quite some time. I just have not turned on the uh, the console in quite, uh, I don't know, weeks maybe. Yeah. My power went out, and I have yet to turn it back on. Your power? My power went out like weeks ago <laughs> for a storm that happened. And then, you know, like you could oh, leave you it on the, sleeping. Oh, yeah, and I know I thought- when... What? Oh, yeah, my power's been out for weeks. <laughs> it's like you never turned the power I needed to back save on. money for the Ireland trip. <laughs> God almighty. Just the console you haven't turned on. You haven't been playing as much as you used to. Yeah, so I'll have to get back into it. Um, but I want to play Last of Us Part 1 mm-hmm. and Part 2 for the seventh time again. Hey, news yeah. on that. They said they're going to begin production on Last of Us Season 2 in the beginning of 2024. So, I want audition. God. The I beginning of next year. There's probably some stuff out there for that. I don't yeah, know where like, they film it, though. You, have you ever heard anything about Is it in Canada? I mean, so, it was for the first season. Yeah, it's yeah. scary up there. Uh, they're going to stay in the same spots, I'm sure. Sega aims to create multiple cutting-edge AAA titles that push the boundaries of traditional gaming experiences and leverage their range of technologies. This just sounds like corporate speak to me. As the name implies, a super game involves the concept of a game that stands head and shoulders above normal games. I still don't know what it is. I've learned nothing about this. They don't even have like a fully fleshed out concept, it sounds like. But they know they're going to spend $800 million on it. Uh, That's where they find themselves. Go right ahead. Uh, Okay, a couple of things we need to touch on uh, before we get out of here. Um, There is a lot more action going on in Israel and Gaza. They said... Uh, On the social media side of things, on TikTok, views of pro-Palestine posts far surpassed 
views of pro-Israel posts. I've certainly been seeing a lot of them. There's a lot of it, yeah. They said like 210,000 stand with Palestine posts and only 17,000 using I stand with Israel since October 16th, which makes sense for a couple of reasons. One, younger people are going to be more likely to be involved in, like, Palestinian activism. Yes. It's, like, usually college kids that start getting into that. Uh, that's one. And those are the age of kids that are on TikTok. Two, I'm sure right after the attack in October on Israel, there were probably a lot of people who were, I stand with Israel, I stand with Israel. Right now, if you're saying I, I stand with Israel, you're saying it as they're just bombing the hell out of, of the Gaza Strip. So it seems like a weirder time to say it. So I think that kind of makes sense. Uh, they don't allow terrorist content on TikTok. Hamas is banned. They're not even allowed to have a presence over on TikTok. Does Hamas have a Twitter account? Or, or I don't know. They have Twitter. Tell me that it has numbers at the end of it because <laughs> oh, someone took on. the original one. Hey, no, Hamas. Hamas 369042. Uh, the, the IDF comes the up. The official Hamas. <clears throat> Uh, I don't see anything from Hamas, but maybe it's not in English, so I can't search for it as easily. So as this says, X has removed hundreds of Hamas-linked accounts following mm. the shock attack in October on the 7th. Uh, they said uh, they have a violent and hateful entities policy, and there's no place on X for terrorist organizations or violent extremist groups, and we continue to remove such accounts in real time, including proactive efforts. So they're trying to clean it up over there. Uh, let's do a couple final dispatches, and then we'll get the hell out of your way. Here's X Swimmer with a dispatch about those candy moms. Happy oh. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, everybody. There you are. Just wanted to chime in on these candy moms. I'm so skeptical of everything. I don't even think that this is real. I think that was one of the mom's houses, and they filmed it just to get something out there. Oh, no, they look no. like. There's no way that it's real. they're going to steal all that, not thinking they're going to be on camera. But that's that didn't even look thing. up at the camera we're, we're, though. Pop, pop. They were all surrounding the bull, talking yeah. to each other. That's the dumb thing. In 2023, what? I, okay, I might be totally out of line and totally out of touch here. <laughs> all right, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna say one third of houses have like one of the video doorbell things now. Sure. I would think like a lot of people have video doorbells or some sort of camera that's monitoring their property. And if you that. don't know that, like I mean it's obvious you see it on the front of the house you see the camera there you know that there's somebody probably watching you okay uh, so well never mind that's the wrong one it says 87 percent of americans don't know how their cameras work <laughs> that's bad i mean i believe that <laughs> let me see what percentage of houses have doorbell cameras they said uh, other makers had uh, da, 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 i'm trying to see R amazon ring is number one okay they said 30 percent of the population has doorbell cameras so i guess pretty damn close and uh those people are in every neighborhood so they would have known that this was there but it is real it was released by a, a country singer and i think it may have been from his house because it was like the house had big pillars in front of it it looked like a giant mansion place uh all right here we go oh you know what we're We'll do this. Dragonfly Ma'am has one last dispatch for Sabrina. Ooh. Hey, Sabrina, just hey. call shotgun. That always works, right? Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> Shotty. Uh, I don't think it works that You're way. You're that jump seat up with the pilot. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, let's go to I the stories. not that... to touch. Yeah. <laughs> let's do the stories that didn't make the cut. Brought to you by Nation's Trucks. We love our friends over there, and you can get the truck of your dreams. It's sitting there on the lot waiting for you at nationstrucks.com. Whether you want a lifted truck, a work truck. Some as big uh, as your head. Any kind of truck you want, any kind of size you want, they got it on the lot there at nationstrucks.com. So go check them out now. What do we have on the way out? They say opposition mounts in Arab countries that normalize relations with Israel. That's not great. Also in Yemen, they've got a, a rebel group there called the Houthis or Houthis, and they've entered the war on Israel. They're firing missiles from Yemen into Israel. Uh, that is uh, spreading things a bit cool, in the cool, region. Cool. Any um, not good. fun, happy news? Trying. Maybe? I'm working <laughs> on it. I'm going down here. Oh, the union has reached a deal with car makers that workers oh, okay. now have to approve. So that would end the auto workers strike that's been going on for quite some time. Good, GM good. was the last holdout on that. And now I guess they've come to some terms here uh, with some big pay increases. And it's going to cost you, the consumer, 
They said you could probably be seeing increases of a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per vehicle in order to offset these losses, according to All right. experts. Maserati are getting uh, driven <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> Another couple <laughs> years, and uh, finally, uh, the guy from Ferris Bueller, or more recently Succession, Bueller. Alan Ruck, that guy, yeah, 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 yeah. got into an accident, crashed Ruck into row. a, he, he crashed right into a pizza shop in Hollywood. On Halloween night, oh, no, am I a pizza? there was four different cars involved in this crash. He played Cameron Fay in uh, Ferris Bueller and then played, uh, what's his name, on uh, Succession, a big show. Uh, and that's it for us today. We're going to get the hell out of the way. Here we go. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. Okay. So don't get cocky. Oh. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. Today I Learned for a Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Today I Learned sponsored by J. David Tax Law. Peace of mind is only a click or a phone call away. Today I Learned this group right here. Jackson 5. That's right, the Jackson 5. In the final Jackson 5 tour, I've got a burp very bad. <laughs> Okay, got it. Uh, the, the final Jackson fart? 5 tour. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? Uh, the final Jackson 5 tour was such a financial disaster for the concert promoter that he was forced to sell the New England Patriots to cover the cost. Oh At the time, they performed 55 concerts to an audience of about 2.5 million people. Did Robert but... Kraft pick it up after that? Uh, I don't know if he was next, but it didn't go well on that tour. It was in 1984. Yeah. Man, that's weird. I was three years old in the Jackson 5 were touring. That's strange. Today and there are so what's so called... Yeah. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. Hate your God. There, was what, there are what's called filial laws in the United States that require adult children to support sick or indigent parents. In some states, you can be required, if your parents are sick or poor to give them money, and they don't enforce this much, but they can in uh, particular uh, instances. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now you know. Today in this bam. Oh, the B-52. Oh. The B-52 song oh. Rock Lobster. Upon hearing this, it inspired John Lennon to start making his music again in 1980 because he said, the song reminded him of his wife Yoko's work. So he thought <laughs> Rock Lobster sounded like something Yoko would have been singing, I guess. All right. It worked. Got him back at it. Taylor, North Korea state media had admitted at one point that the founder of North Korea, Kim Il-sung, did not actually have the ability to teleport. What? They thought, for a while, they thought that. For a while, they thought that he was the greatest of the great and he could even teleport. Dang. But they had to admit that that wasn't true. Here's a hard one to say. Today, I learned this lady. Uh, uh, Shania oh, Twain is Shania right. Twain. Shania Twain married the husband of the woman her own husband was cheating with. Let's go, girl. You got it? Like, so, no. yes. her husband was cheating and she married the husband of the woman that her husband oh. was cheating with. I don't even know how they figured that revenge. out, for God's sake. That's the ultimate revenge Works right out, there. Though. Okay, last one. Today, I learned this band right here. I'm okay. Creed is correct. Creed. You just wanted to ruin my day before my big trip? <laughs> the big comeback tour. You're going to like this one. Okay. I think you're going to sing along. All right. Today, I learned the band Creed got sued by fans back in 2003 because of how intoxicated the band singer was <laughs> during one of their concerts in the Gosh. Chicago area. They get made fun of a lot. They sold 53 million albums Damn. worldwide. Not one of them uh, was good. <laughs> oh, how dare you? How dare you? Hey, how have fun in Ireland, how Sabrina. Dare. Thank you, thank you. We Love will you. see Miss you ya. same time, same place. If you missed any of the show, go to the website, thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you next time. There also one accident, Pleasant Hill Road, north, affecting north and southbound traffic right around South Point, Siena Boulevard. Also one blocking the left lane, U.S. 27 northbound before I-4. This is in the Davenport area. 
and still have a crash earlier from Melbourne. This is uh, US 192 eastbound before St. John's Heritage Parkway. See traffic troubles? Call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Pat Largo. This report is sponsored by Mattress Warehouse of Kissimmee. Save up to 70% at Mattress Warehouse today 